Welcome guys, welcome, welcome to the stream. Guys. Sup sup sup, what's up K, what's up? How's it going? How is everyone doing today? Happy um Was already waiting for you? K, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Sorry for being a bit late there. I was just uh, I was just setting stuff up here. Um, we're gonna stream tomorrow morning. I've got a fun one for you guys tomorrow morning too. Happy long weekend. Hope everyone's doing well. It's Thursday. Uh, actually on holiday now. Very cool. Okay, where are you going, man? Nathan, what's up? What's up? How was the other? How was the other flight, Nathan? For you, did you, did you enjoy it? We, I told you we would eventually do it, right? I said we would eventually do uh, the album flight for you, and we did. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, we might do that again uh, very shortly, just because I got to practice another plane here, and I usually use Ottawa to practice new planes. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm I always do Ottawa to Toronto when I'm testing new things. So right now I'm playing with the Phoenix A320. Uh, thanks to one of my viewers for gifting me the Phoenix. My opinion on the Phoenix, guys, it's gonna be I'm in beautiful Poland very cool okay maybe we should fly in Poland uh, this weekend just for you my opinion on the Phoenix guys and it's a highly highly controversial comment um, I've been playing around with it it's great the sounds the sounds are phenomenal right the sound effects of the Phoenix are phenomenal it's so beautifully designed plane but in terms of functionality guys honestly the fly-by-wire is good enough I don't know if it's worth spending $80 for sounds and uh, sounds and, and better visuals but uh, if you fly a lot of Airbus operations I guess why not I think the Phoenix is a great product um, if you're a serious Airbus simmer um, anyways guys enough of that why don't we talk about today's flights here because uh, I did not realize how long this flight is gonna be geez okay so what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna do two legs here today leg number one we're gonna fly from Thunder Bay to um, to London, Ontario, and then second leg of the flight, we're gonna fly from London, Ontario to Toronto City Airport, um, and we'll see sort of how the time goes from there. Maybe if we have time, I'll mess around with the Phoenix at the end of the night, but uh, no guarantees on that. So we'll see how things go. We're flying North North Star Air, so they are based out of Thunder Bay, and they actually do fly ATRs uh, for North Star. Honestly, I was debating between North Star Air and Calm Air. I'm thinking next time Winnipeg Center is online and stuff, we'll fly some Calm Air ops because uh, Calm Air does fly the ATR in real life as well. But uh, today we're going to be flying uh, North Star Air. Call sign for North Star Air, guys, is Black Fly. So BF Bravo Foxtrot is their call sign, Black Fly. So today we're going to be Black Fly 168. Uh, ATC is fully online in uh, on, in Southern Ontario, or I should say Toronto Centre. Uh, is ATC on today? Yes, they are. Uh, Thursday night, uh, the Toronto uh, Air Traffic Control Region, they have an event every Thursday. So Toronto Centre, um, I, so I always thought Toronto Centre covers all of Ontario. I was mistaken. I think it covers, it covers a good chunk of Ontario, but it doesn't cover Northern Ontario. I, I was surprised to learn that Winnipeg Centre actually covers um, Northern Ontario. So again, the Toronto Air Traffic Control region, they have an event every Thursday. So uh, I think up to Sudbury. Uh, I think, I honestly think up to Sudbury or slightly more north of Sudbury is the jurisdiction of Toronto Centre. Uh, so once we sort of cross in, once we cruise for about 20-30 minutes, I anticipate us that we should cross over to Toronto Centre ATC. Uh, I'll show you guys on the map here what I'm talking about here, and then uh, and then we can sort of uh, we'll get this uh, we'll get the show on the road. Uh, but let me just show you guys what I'm talking about here. So if I pull up, if I pull up a uh, VAT spy again, you guys have seen you guys have seen uh, you guys have seen me use VAT VAT spy a lot here, but. Uh, you guys can see right here, we are out of, we're flying out of Thunder Bay right now. We've got an, I, I don't know what, I don't know what that is. I think that was me screw, me screwing up a file here. Uh, but, oh my god, it didn't file properly, guys. Hold on a sec, I screwed up. <laughs> hold on a sec, I actually, I screwed up here. Hold on, hold on a sec. 
<laughs> oh boy. All right, let me try this again here. BF 168. I'm gonna refile this. Thank God we took a look at this actually. Uh, so let me just minimize this. We'll pre-file. I'm gonna refile this. I'm gonna disconnect from the network real quick here. We'll refile the flight plan here. Cool. Um, and then I'm gonna reconnect uh, BF 168. Cool. Uh, and let's see if that did that. That should. Uh, I should have done it. So let's just refresh this here for a second. Where'd you get the plane? You can buy on the Microsoft, uh, you can buy uh, in on Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, what are we doing today? Thunder Bay to London, Ontario, uh, to Toronto City Airport um, in the ATR. So that's what we're doing on North Star Ops. Evan, hey Evan, welcome, welcome. Evan, I'm sorry, we're not flying with Seiya Airways today. I don't know if you ever heard of, I don't know if you ever heard of North Star Air, but that's what we're gonna fly today. I, it was between this and Calm Air, but I figured we're going to fly Calm Air uh, next time Winnipeg Center is online. North Star is our competition, yeah. Are you sure ATR? You know what, I'm more confident. We had we had uh, five or six ATR pilots join the stream on Tuesday, and you guys coached me a lot. So I actually feel a lot more confident flying the ATR. Um, but again, if we look at Vest by here, uh, as I was saying, I actually am not sure. Does anybody know where this is? Um, does, any, does anybody know where this is? But like I was saying, guys, I always thought that Toronto Center covers all of Ontario, but I was mistaken. Wherever this town, wherever this city is, right, or town right here on this boundary, is the limit of Toronto Center. But again, like I said, every Thursday night, Toronto Center. Uh, the Toronto or Traffic Patrol region, they have an event on Batsim, so they're fully, fully staffed um, in, I guess, in Toronto Centre. So Toronto Centre again covers, I'm going to say, it's like 60, 70 percent of Ontario's geographic region here. Um, so again, once we fly into City Airport, we will, uh, or sorry, once we cross over Lake Superior for about 30 minutes, we're going to have ATC, we're going to be in uh, Toronto Centre's airspace. Uh, it's Timmins? No, I'm pretty sure Timmins is up here. I'm pretty sure Timmins is up here. I don't think Timmins is on the northwest side. So if anyone knows what the limit, what the boundary limit of Toronto Center is, let me know. But uh, like I said, guys, if I go here, um, you can see we're departing to London, Ontario. How long are the flights? Uh, I think this flight is two hours. I think, I think from uh, Thunder Bay to London, Ontario will be two hours. Uh, and then from London to Toronto City is going to be 45 minutes. Boardmore, yeah, could be. It's Geraldton. It's Geraldton. Okay. I mean, I don't know where these towns are, but uh, that's what we're doing, guys. So, uh, again, like I said, they do have um, they do have events going on every Thursday. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, C Y G G Q. That's the line between Winnipeg and Toronto Center. Interesting. 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 Uh, once we're in the air, Evan, let me take a look at what that airport is, because I'm I'm actually curious what the boundary of the two uh, air traffic control regions are. Um, but anyways guys, why don't we stop the plane here uh, and let's go flying here. I'm actually much more confident in the ATR than I have ever been in my entire life. Um, that said, I am going to do improper procedures here. You can see that I'm already iced up. So before I even do deal with my FMS or anything, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start, I'm going to start the engines fully just to start the icing the plane. So again, for anyone who's a real life ATR pilot, I apologize for cheesing this, um, but I just I don't I don't want to be stuck on the ground for God knows how long, uh, waiting for the plane to de-ice. So what we'll do is I'm gonna get rid of all of the uh, all of the doors here. Let's see the YQT scenery. Yeah, we can take a look at the YQT. I've been to Y I've been to YQT a bunch of times. I don't remember if the building was like this on the outside. I don't know if the building looks like this on the outside. To be honest with you, it might just might be really bad scene see yeah so i mean the front the front looks exactly like what it's it looks like go to the wasaya apron uh where is the wasaya apron uh apron four so i'm parked in the wrong place right am i accidentally parked i i think i'm parked at the gates but i should have been at the wasaya wasaya gates right um let's see where they are you said it was apron i want to say you guys said it was apron four right um Oh my god, Apron 4 is in the boonies. Go across the- it's in Apron 6, go across the tower. Okay. Apron 6. Is it here? 
Oh my god, is it is it here? I think it's here, right? <laughs> I should have parked here. I should have parked here. Should we respawn in? Uh, should guys should we should I respawn into um should I respawn into the Wasaya uh, uh, apron? Actually looks pretty good. Looks accurate. We have a so Evan, we have a gas station here. Uh can you actually get gas for your plane? Um can you actually get gas? Can you actually get gas for your plane at this SO here? Or no? Or is this gas for just cars? It's too funny. Um, what do you think? Should we actually, uh, should we actually, the field truck drives to the plane? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I didn't know, I didn't realize that in small airports they still have field trucks. Oh, I guess Thunder Bay is not that small. So I guess the SO is for regular car, I guess the SO is for regular cars then. I think there's an SO. Is there an actual SO? I don't remember seeing there's an SO here. I have been to the front, so I know that the front of the scenery does look accurate. Um, this is actually the, what Thunder Bay does look like at the front, but I don't know, I don't recall if, um, if the back actually says Thunder Bay on it. Um, either way, uh, SO is AV gas, we use world fuel, so Jet A, very cool, very cool. It does say Thunder Bay. In this, in this crappy font though, does it say Thunder Bay in this crappy font though? I've actually never paid attention, I will next time. <laughs> does it actually look this bad and uninspiring? Looks like it actually looks like it actually looks like this ugly font. Jeez. Okay. Cool. Well, great. Um. All right. I don't know if I'm gonna spawn. I don't know if I want to spawn in. Um. I don't know if I want to spawn at the Wasaya Wasaya gates. Should I even attempt it? I don't know if it'll even let me. To be honest with you. What do you guys think? Should we do it? Show me the college. Where's the college though? Apron nine. Uh. Sure. Would you like to look at apron nine? Where is apron nine? Um, oh, apron nine's all the way across there. Okay, so apron nine's behind us. So here's apron nine. Evan flies for Wasaya Airways, so we flew with Wasaya, Wasaya Blue Hangar. Okay, Blue Hangar here. This is Confederation College. Is this confederation? Is this what confederation college looks like? I guess is this their hangar? Can we go in? No, there's no scenery here. Cool. So what are these two buildings then? So what is this for then? What 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 is this? Orange? What's orange? I don't know what orange is. And a pilot a U.S. I I'm assuming these are private air ambulance. Oranges air ambulance, and then what is this then? Pilot US, private jets to the US, I'm guessing. Where are you? Thunder Bay. Thunder Bay is where we're at. Anyways, guys, um, why don't. Hey, Rook Bars, welcome, welcome. We're gonna fly to Medicine Hat one day for you, Rook Bars, I promise you. It's gonna happen. Go to y, uh, CYTR. Trenton? I mean, we're not gonna... Pilot US is a manufacturer. Interesting. I mean, what are we gonna do at Trenton, though? <laughs> uh, we're not gonna fly military operations. We could fly Air Force One from, like, Ottawa to Trenton if we really wanted to troll around. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna start the plane here first, and then let's chat while we wait for... Um, while we wait for, uh, I guess, our plane to de-ice, and then we can continue chatting. Cold in London. Yeah, why are you guys hanging on London, Ontario, though? I gotta go, but if you but message me if you have some more questions. Will do, Evan. Th sounds good. Sounds good. All right, all right, guys. Let's let's improperly do this again. You're not supposed to turn the. You're not supposed to start the engines before you set up the plane. But again, the plane is icing right now. You guys can see this right here. Uh, you guys can see right here that the plane is icing itself already. So because for that reason, guys, I um, I'm gonna start the plane up first just to start the icing the plane. Where are we find today? Thunder Bay to London, Ontario, and London, Ontario to Toronto City Airport. Which London are you going to? London, Ontario. <laughs> I promise you we're not going to fly Thunder Bay to London, England, <laughs> and then back to Toronto. That's not happening. <laughs> what aircraft? A-Terra 72. So, North Star Airways, which is what we're flying right now. 
flies the uh, ATR in real life. Yeah. I'm sorry if you guys were expecting in London Heathrow or London Gatwick. Uh, we'll say that for another time. <laughs> Alright. We're going to turn battery on right now. External power is going on. So we have power to the plane right now. Um, what we're also going to do here. I'm going to turn both. Uh, I'm going to turn both pumps on. Because I've reloaded the plane with fuel right now. Liam, thanks for the follow. Welcome aboard. Uh, we'll turn on some dome lights here. Um, turn the cabin lights on as well. Northstar has a DC-3-2. Very cool, Adam. I didn't realize that. You guys teach me something new every day. Yeah. Get it on? Yeah, that's what we're doing. Local lights, wing lights, nav lights are also going on right now. Uh, APU. There's no, AP, there's no APU on the uh, ATR. It just runs the engines. That's, that's pretty much it. It just runs the engines. Uh, so we'll turn our windshield heating on. We'll turn our main oxygen supply on. Um, we'll arm our emergency exits. We really filled up the plane with, uh, with fuel so we can turn our seatbelt signs on. Uh, no devices are going on as well. So the, the ATR guys doesn't have an APU. It has what's called hotel mode. So what that is, is it starts the engine without spinning the propeller blades. That said though, because we're going to need a lot of energy to keep the plane de-iced, I'm, I'm not going to turn the prop brakes on. We're going to leave the prop brakes off here. And I'm going to just full start the engine before we do any of our other checklists. Just because I know the plane is going to take a while to de-ice itself. So what we'll do is we'll actually start this on start A and B right now. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to turn these on right now. So we're, we'll turn all of those on right now. Uh, and then I'm going to start engine number two here. So you guys can see right here. We're just going to wait for this to get to about 17%. And then we can put some, we'll turn it to feather uh, on the condition lever right here. Okay, so it's around 17, you guys can see right there. Um, we'll flick this to feather. I'm going to shut the door of the plane here. Uh, we'll also turn on some overhead lighting here too. Cool. Uh, the altimeter in Thunder Bay right now is telling me it's 2954. So we can actually set this to 295. 54. Okay, cool. Um, so you can see that the engine, or engine number two right now, is starting on right now. Uh, this is Microsoft Flight Simulator. So we're gonna, once that starts, we go back inside the plane here. Uh, we'll turn this to auto. Okay. Cool. Let that, let that spin up. You can see that the propellers are now spinning right here. See right here, propellers are spinning right here. Again, you're not supposed to start the engines before you finish them the plane, but again, because we're gonna we have icing conditions and the plane bugs out a lot in icing conditions, I'm gonna start both engines here, and then we'll set up the rest of the plane after the after the fact. What's your favorite plane? The 787, because um, it's just it was the start of very very modern planes. So I love the Dreamliner. Uh, that said, I'm sure if I saw an I'm sure if I saw a uh, A350, I would love A350 as well. All right, so we'll start engine number. Uh, let's start engine number one right now. Okay, so you guys can see right here. We're waiting again for 17% here. And then we're going to start engine number one up. Again, you shouldn't be starting the engines here. I'm just doing it for icing conditions. Pure reason why we're doing it this way. Both beautiful planes. Yeah, I've never flown the AT-50. Flown on the AT-50, but I'm sure... Or flown the AT-50, but... I'm sure if I've flown the A350, I will love it more, to be honest. Because I love Airbuses more than Boeing, to be honest. Um, so I will probably love the A350 more than the 787 if I ever get a chance to fly it. And um, uh, I think it's any bills that they're releasing A350 into Microsoft Flight Simulator this year. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You read my mind. You re I'm, not looking, I'm not interested in the A380, but I'm more interested in the A350 release, to be honest with you guys. Where are we flying? From Thunder Bay to London, Ontario, and then London, Ontario to Toronto City Airport. Alright, cool. So let's uh, turn that to auto here. Make sure both engines are running. Cool. So both engines are spinning right now. So uh, what we'll do here is we'll go up to our overhead panel, turn probe heats on. You can see all these, you can see all these fault lights are still going on right now. 
Uh, it's because it's we're in icing conditions right now. Again, so it's still gonna fault me till it spins a bit more here. We can honestly throw this up to max here just to give some more uh, some more spin here, and hopefully that will uh, deal with that. We can turn external power off though right now. We can turn uh, yeah, we can turn that off right now. Cool. Awesome. Okay, so you can see again. The hydraulics aren't working right now. Uh, Matt, thanks for the follow. No, I'm streaming on YouTube. I'm streaming on YouTube right now. Uh, you guys can see right here that uh, again, um, our our hydraulics aren't working again because it's too cold here. So I'm gonna set the rest of the plane here. You can see on our window it's completely frozen up right now. Uh, Dead cry. Thanks for the follow. Really appreciate. It. Welcome on board. Favorite plane from real life? A350 or 787? For sure, very very modern planes. Uh, you guys can see on the window right now, completely frozen up right now. So again, we're just and you can see none of my systems are working right now. So again, we're just gonna let this uh, run for a bit here, um, and then and then it should it'll de-ice itself um, as we go on here. We can actually probably turn our temps here to hot as well. Cool. Okay, like I said, um, we're departing on Unicom right now. But I'll connect to Toronto Center in the meantime, uh, because we will be in Toronto Center's airspace. So Toronto Center today, they are on. Um, Toronto Center is on one two five seven seven five. So we'll put Toronto Center. Whoops, up in there. One, uh, escape. Uh, no. Okay. Again, one two five point seven seven five. Oh, uh, what's going on here? Uh, let me do this here. RMS, uh, one two five point seven seven five. There we go. I don't know. I don't know why that was plugged out. Oh, that was the VOR. Duh. That would do it. <laughs> that would do it, guys. Okay, cool. So we'll connect the Toronto Center here. Um, and we'll talk to them. Uh, how'd you learn all this? YouTube videos. I think their dash eights are good. Yeah. I need you to be streaming on release day of AT50. Otherwise, I will be sitting lonely inside of my AT50. Okay. I, 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 I don't think I would do that because I'm going to have to learn how to fly the AT50. And it takes me 10 to 20 hours to learn a new plane. So I will maybe stream the week after. GSX got a de-ice feature with the truck. Looks amazing. Okay. So I play with GSX and it's as buggy as it. I, th I play the trial and it bugs out on my computer very, very badly. I don't think I would buy GSX until it goes on sale. Uh, I enjoy your content. How long have you been flying on VATSIM? Uh, 230 hours. Last I checked two days ago. Uh, so you guys can see the plane is still deciding to not de-ice itself here. So it's going to take some time uh, for the plane to de-ice itself. In the meantime, why don't we set up the rest of the plane? Um, so why don't we set up the rest of the plane here? Um, yo, what's up, LT? What's up? You guys are distracting me right now. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the follow, uh, Roro. Really, really appreciate it. All right, guys. Uh, simple, simple flight plan. You can see what happens when you fly off two small airports. We're flying from CYXT. We're departing off runway 25 today, I think. Yeah, they're departing off runway 25 right now. So we can depart off runway 25 right now. We'll take the Thunder Bay 1 departure um, cool. And then our arrival. Um, basketball, thanks for the follow. Really, really appreciate you welcome aboard. Uh, because we're, because it's such a um, short flight, we're going to just set up sort of some of our arrival information right now. So if I go and look at what runway they're landing in at London, Ontario, they are landing on, uh, they're landing on runway 15, which has an ILS. Wonderful. So they have an ILS on runway 5 in London. So that is perfect. That is absolutely perfect right now. Cool. So we can clear that. Uh, okay. So let me just set this here. We are flying the ILS 1-5 uh, approach here. Uh, I'm thinking transition probably Burlos. It's Burlos. Let's see what it has here. Tudor Itlaw. Itlaw. Final? I guess I'll just find the final. Cool. So it's going to be Tudar, 
to 8 law to runway 15, so that is correct. Cool. Uh, so it's a simple, simple flight plan. Uh, Y1HYE, thanks for the follow, and Hunter, thanks for the follow, really appreciate it. Welcome aboard. Alright. So let's go into FMS1 here. We'll go to init. We'll go to our pause init. We'll go to our. Whoops, we'll go to our GPS position here. Uh, I'm gonna clear that actually. Uh, okay. I mean, they're the exact same anyway, so it doesn't. Yeah, it's good enough. Alright, so we'll, we'll init that. We'll go into, again, we've done our nav data, so that's fine. We, we've done our flight planning already. So you can see our flight plan is already in place right now. Go to our perf information, uh, perf init, our cruise altitude today. I'm gonna double check, should be 19,000 feet. It is 19,000 feet. So very, very low altitude today um, out of Thunder Bay and alternate altitude 21,000 uh, in case we decide to have fun with that. Um, we'll go back to perf here, we'll check everything else here. Uh, everything else here looks good. Uh, okay, perf, perf, cool. And then we don't need to work, we can put this in right now, I'm not saying it really matters, but it's 2952 right now. Okay, and I never know how to do this ground. Uh, I never know how to put this in, so I'm never gonna. B I'm not gonna bother with that. So we'll leave that as that is. Uh, cool. Okay, let's check our windows right now. So you can see our windows are getting better right now. Uh, we we still have faults here. Um, we still have faults here with our plane because again, it's just it's so cold right now in the plane that it doesn't know how to manage that. Uh, we're fully started. We're fully started up though, um, but it just it's not gonna it's not gonna. It's gonna take a while for it to sort of uh, to work here. So that's why we started the engines. That's why we started the engines really early. We're gonna turn this actually to start A and B just to de-ice the wings uh, as well. But again, you can see the plane is fully started up, and it's still giving me hydraulic failures because the plane is still too cold right now. Microsoft Flight Simulator is what we're on right now. Cool. Okay, so let's go into our uh, transponder information. We will have a squat code when we get into Toronto, but we'll put 2000 right now as our default squat code. So we'll just turn that on. We'll turn our transponder on as well. TCAS can stay on auto. Uh, that's fine. Cool. We'll go to our perf information. We'll confirm our takeoff data as well. Wonderful. We'll uh, zoom out here a bit. Um, God, I never know how to do this. There's a, there's a button to change the navigation display here. It's not that. Is it this? No. No, was it that? Uh, where was it? I, I, I think this is fine. I think this should be fine. All right, cool. That should be fine. Okay. Cool. North Star flies up north too. Yeah, we've done a lot of northern Ontario operations. I figure we're gonna slide back south to Toronto, um, and get out some cold weather here. Take a look at our charts, guys, real quickly here. Again, not much luck at the charts here uh, today. Very, very, uh, very easy sort of flight that we're doing today uh, from a navigation perspective. Uh, but we can load in our we can load in our charts here just so you guys can see what we're looking at. Uh, so again, they're landing on runway one five, which is perfect. So runway one five has an ILS, so we can just uh, put the ILS in right now. Cool. Okay, so let's look at our departure. Again, we're departing off the Thunder Bay 1 departure. Again, we don't have ATC in Winnipeg Center anyways. Actually, let me double check that. Yeah, we don't have ATC in Winnipeg Center. Uh, so that doesn't really matter. Um, hypothetically, the departure would look like this. It's telling me right here on runway 25, climb heading 254 for vectors. No turns below 1700 feet until uh, unless assigned by ATC. Maintain 4,000 or flight plan up to whichever is lower. Um, it says maintain 4,000, but again, there's no planes here in the area in Thunder Bay right now. Uh, we can honestly just go straight up to 17,000 feet. So we'll bug in 17,000 feet right now. Or sorry, not 17. We'll bug up 19,000 feet right now. So I'm just going to scroll this up to 19,000 feet right now. And then heading mode, um, again, if I look at the heading here, 
it says fly heading uh, 254 so we'll set our heading to 254 here okay cool and then I'm gonna flick this to the ILS and we'll look at our ILS here uh, our ILS is gonna be the final approach course is gonna be 148 so we can bug this into 148 right now you guys here so we'll bug this into 148 again what I'm looking at guys is this is this guy right here so course 047 degrees we want to bug that down to 148 uh, just for our final approach here so we'll bug this into can't even see what that says Cool, and then what we'll do is we'll double check. Uh, okay, cool, awesome. So we're good on there right now. Um, and then the ILS frequency, so we'll go back to nav here. Our ILS frequency for um, for the ILS is gonna be 109.5. Cool, so we'll keep that on uh, standby right now. Awesome, okay. Uh, hey, do you have any idea about the MH-270, what happened to it? Uh, no idea. Your guess is the same as mine, Aviation. Your guess is the same as mine. Alrighty. Um, so, honestly, guys, we're ready to take off. You can see now, I still have fault lights. It's still a bit too cold here. You see all these errors right now um, on my uh, on my ECAM here. Again, you can see that the plane is getting better. Something's de-icing over here. Like someone's de-icing right here. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm still honestly, where are we going? Uh, Thunder Bay to London, Ontario. You guys can see right here as well. Uh, set fuel. Cool. Set payload. Cool. Load the aircraft. Start loading. Cool. Awesome. Uh, so again legit all I'm waiting for guys is okay so there you go we're ready to go so you guys just see all my error messages just cleared from my ecamm because the plane uh de-iced itself so you guys saw that took about 10 to 15 minutes I think to de-ice the plane um but we're good now uh, you can see that there's no ice on my windows uh this is slowly going to disappear here uh but it's good enough for what we have right now um so for the most part we are pretty much ready to taxi uh, so let's get out of here guys, shall we? Let's get out of here. Um, we are gonna depart off runway 2-5. Uh, so we're gonna have to back taxi. Oh, so this is gonna be, um, hmm. Okay, it's gonna be an interesting pushback. It's gonna be a quick pushback. Let me put it that way. It's gonna be a quick pushback, quick taxi. What we're gonna do is we're gonna flip. Uh, we're gonna turn this plane, whoops. Uh, we're, what we'll do is we'll turn this plane all the way like this here. Okay. Uh, and put us on the apron, and then we'll taxi straight to Bravo. Okay, my pushback tool is gonna be invisible again. That's fine. That's okay. Awesome. Uh, what we can do is we can also turn on our beacon light. Uh, we can turn on our taxi lights, and uh, our landing lights can go on as well. Uh, and we're ready to push back. So we're gonna have an invisible push back here. Can you fly over my house, please? Where's your house? Is there ATC in Winnipeg airspace? Uh, no, but there is ATC in Toronto Center. So once we cruise for about 20 minutes, we should get in the airspace of uh, Toronto Center. Uh, so I, that's why I'm tuned in right now on Toronto Center on 125775. I think I'm too far out to receive a signal right now. Um, so that's, uh, that's what we're gonna do. Anyways, guys, uh, let's push back here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is we'll release the parking brake. Okay. My pushback, my pushback tool has been bugging. Oh god. Okay, let's do this again. All right. You know what? I'm just gonna manually. I'm gonna. I'm gonna manually push this back then. I guess. We'll ma I'm gonna manually push it. My uh, my uh, pushback tool has been glitching all all week for whatever reason. Hello everyone. The captain and the entire crew would like to welcome aboard. 
We now ask for your full attention as the flight attendants demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. Okay. When the seat belt sign I'm just gonna manually push this you back must here. fasten your seatbelt. Insert the metal fittings one into the other and tighten by pulling on the loose end of the strap. To release your seatbelt, lift the upper portion of the buckle. We suggest it's an invisible pushback of oh. throughout the flight. As you know, we may hold on, hold on. experience turbulence. There are several emergency exits on uh, this aircraft. Get rid of that. Whoops. Please take a few moments now to locate your nearest exit. In some cases, your nearest exit may be behind you. Would if we need to evacuate the aircraft, okay, floor level lighting here. will guide you towards the exit. Uh, let's try this again Doors here. can be opened by moving the handle in the direction let's try this of the arrow. Guys. Each door is equipped with an inflatable slide which may also be detached and used as a life raft. Oxygen there. and the air pressure are works. always being monitored. In the event of a no. decompression, an oxygen mask will automatically appear in front yeah, of okay. you. That's fine. To start the flow of oxygen, pull the mask towards you. Cool. Place it firmly over your nose and mouth. Secure the elastic band behind your head and breathe in. Although the bag does not inflate, it's invisible tug as you guys can see. And we're full, we have both engines started already. Again, we had to. Uh, Secure just your it mask was, on it first, been, and then assist the other person. Otherwise. Keep your mask on until a uniformed crew member advises you to remove it. In the event of an emergency, please assume the bracing position. Lean forward with your hands on top of okay. your head and your elbows against your thighs. Ensure your feet are flat on the floor. A life vest is located in a pouch under your seat or between the armrests. Okay, cool. When instructed similar, to do yeah. so, open yeah. the plastic pouch and remove the vest. Slip it over your head. Pass the straps around your waist and adjust at the front. Bave airline. Mine is Air China delivery is good. On the red um, favorite delivery? I don't have a favorite airline to be honest with you. If you need to refill the vest, Air the airlines are airlines, right? Use the whistle and light to attract cool. attention. Also, your seat bottom right. cushion can be used as a flotation so we'll device. We'll put that Pull there. Pull the cushion from the seat. Slip your arms into the straps and hug the cushion to your chest. At this time, your portable electronic devices must be set to airplane mode okay. until an announcement is made upon arrival. Cool. All right. We remind you that this is a non-smoking. So we're in a taxi to runway two five. Tampering with disabling uh, two or five destroying is the right smoke here. detectors located in the lavatories is prohibited by law. All this information can be found in the seat pocket in front of you. Okay. We strongly suggest you read it before takeoff. If you have any questions. Please don't hesitate to ask one of our crew members. We wish you all an enjoyable flight. Okay. We're gonna back taxi the runway right here. What's in Microsoft High Simulator? That's a camp chill, yeah. Why are you playing recording? It's your safety video. Get the ice off your wings. This is not Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, how can this not be Microsoft Flight Simulator, Santi? I, I'm, I promise you it's Microsoft Flight Simulator. Look, it's Microsoft Flight Simulator. <laughs> I'm not sure wh why you think it's not Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. I don't know why you're saying it's not Microsoft Flight Simulator. What, what do you think it is? It doesn't look like it? What part of it doesn't look like it? You mean the graphics are too bad or too good? Sanchez, are you saying it's too good or too bad? Yo, what's up, hey? Welcome, welcome. Anyways, we're gonna taxi... Uh, here, let me do this. Alright, let's just leave that there. Whoops. I thought it was either x -Pen or RFS. Why would it... Why would it... Why would it be x -Pen or RFS? RFS is a mobile simulator. What plane is this? The ATR. It's the ATR. Safety vehicle for who? It's like you playing the game. I don't get it. Uh, it's for realism purposes. It's blurry because it's probably bad. It's probably because we're up in the north and scenery in the north isn't that good. 
All right, I'm gonna back taxi the runway here. I mean, directly I have enough runway to take off, but I'm just gonna back taxi the runway here. Uh, let me. Over to Nikon for West at seven zero five. Good night. Oh, there we go. Now I have ATC. Cool. I knew I had ATC there. Is that the ATR seventy two? Is the ATR seventy two? Cool. All right. So, um, again, there's no ATC right now in Winnipeg, but once we get into Toronto Center airspace, which is going to be about twenty minutes after takeoff, we'll connect to Toronto Center ATC. Well, we're on Toronto's. AT, uh, we're on Toronto's frequency right now anyways um, But yeah, so once we get about 20-30 minutes in the air We'll we'll be in the airspace of Toronto Centre uh, And then we'll have full OTC service for the rest of the evening here. Uh, I, I can fly but I can't get the speed to hold it uh, I can't get the speed, yeah there's no auto throttle um, Lucas for the ATR So you have to manage your own speed, it's very very annoying, not gonna lie Hi Carl, welcome, how long of a flight? Two hours Two hour flight to London, Ontario, and then it's gonna be a 45 minute from London, Ontario to Toronto City Airport. If we have time after that, we might do another flight, but we'll see how time goes. Where are you from? Toronto. Alright. Let's turn this plane around. Alright, guys, let's take off here. Oh, from way two five. You find a shard town? We can find a th shard town eventually. We can find a shard town. Maybe next Monday. I'm thinking maybe next Monday. Anyways, guys, sorry. This this plane really likes to veer off to the right side. So I'm just going to center myself here on my rudders. See how it's pulling me on the right side? It's the ATR. I don't know why it likes to pull myself on the right side here. It's really, it's, look, look at that. I'm using full left rudder here, and I can barely hold the center line. It's crazy. All right. Oof. Okay. We're airborne. Thank God. What plane is this? The ATR-72. A positive rate of climb, gears going up. Alright, let's make this turn here. But this speed to auto and 1000 notch is kind of like managed speed. Yeah, it's kind of like managed speed, but even then, it's still pretty bad. Alright, so you guys can see the outside here. That's what our plane looks like. Well, let me make this turn here. Uh, we'll put flaps up here. Make this turn here, and then we'll go into autopilot. Again, once we're about 20 minutes in the air, we'll have ATC in uh, Toronto Center. Um, it's just right now, Winnipeg Center is not online, unfortunately. All right, uh, let me just level off here. Uh, Jacob, thanks for the follow. Really appreciate. It. Welcome aboard. All right, so we're airborne. Uh, ooh, sensitive. It's a, sen it's a sensitive boy, guys. Right. Uh, this thing is sensitive. All right, cool. Uh, we'll turn on autopilot here. We'll turn on nav mode. Cool. And then we'll turn on VNAV, which is a very—it's a very bad VNAV, but whatever. Awesome. It's gonna make that left. It's gonna make that uh, turn to uh, But that's what our plan looks like, guys. Today. North Star Air. Our first sign is flat flight. What do you, when do you, when do you think you're gonna fly in and out of Winnipeg? Um, maybe next week, honestly. I'm thinking, honestly, next week we'll fly some calm air operations. What's the flight today? Uh, Thunder Bay to, um, London, Ontario, then London, Ontario to Toronto City Airport. What game is this? Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking of doing calm air, getting into aviation. Have you ever heard of calm air? Because uh, Calm Air does fly the ATR in uh, real life as well. So I, I'm dying to, to do some of that as well. We can uh, zoom out a bit more here. Oops. Uh, okay, let me zoom out more here. Okay, I'm as zoomed out as I can. <laughs> Nothing in sight. Do you have the BAE-146? I don't, unfortunately. I don't. All right, cool. Awesome. We're airborne. The plane is going to de-ice us up, but again, for those joining us, we had to start the engines first and run them for 15 minutes because the ATR takes forever to de-ice. Um, and so, 
this is like yeah we we had to wait 15 minutes on the ground before the plane even had any of its hydraulic systems on what plane uh the atr 72 the atr 72 um which to be fair the atr 72 is actually the most uh study level aircraft uh, in microsoft flight simulator there's not that many good turboprops i love flying I love flying into Toronto City Airport, um, but we need a turboprop to fly into City Airport, and unfortunately, the ATR is the best that we have here. Uh, are you getting your pilot's license? I am not. I am not, unfortunately. All right, so you can see we're climbing here. Cruise altitude not going to be high today. Um, Nineteen thousand feet is what we're going to be cruising at. Um, again, I'll show you guys on the map here uh, something quick. So if we just go here. I'll show you guys VATSPY again, so uh, for those that wonder where we, where we are right now, how come? It's t uh, it's pointless and it's too expensive to be able to uh, Anyways, you guys can see right here, we are BF-168, so I'll toggle our route, uh, I'll actually, I'll toggle this actually right here. Uh, you can see right here, we're going to cross into Toronto Centre airspace, kind of. <laughs> kind of. Um, we're gonna be right on the Casa Toronto Center, but I suspect once we All get over to where this WestJet is over Lake Superior, um, he'll probably ask us to contact him, um, uh, contact Toronto Center, and then you guys can see here we also have, um, we also have London's uh, tower online as well. London Tower is on one one nine point four, so we can actually tune this in right now. So we'll go into our com we'll go into our comms here. Uh, let me double check that again. He is one one nine point four. So we'll put one one nine point four point four. And we'll that's that's right right front of that. uh, the reason why it's such bad radio stack is because it, I'm so that's far that's away that's from the radio. That's, that's why you're hearing it being very so fuzzy. You but as you get like closer, that's as you get closer that's to that's Toronto Centre airspace, uh, you'll hear it uh, come. The radio come in more clearly. Uh, you lost are still the that's correct. That's correct. All right, so we're over ten thousand feet right now. So we can turn off our seatbelt signs for you guys. We'll turn off our landing lights and our takeoff lights can also go off as well. And strobe lights can go on. Cool. Uh, but yeah, you guys can, can hear the static right now um, on the radio because we're too far from the frequency right now. But as we get closer to I guess Toronto Center's airspace again. Toronto Center's airspace is this blue area right here, so we're right here, so once we cross around here, um, he'll probably ask us to contact him, um, and then we will have ATC um, at London as well. Do they still use Toronto down to airport? I don't think so. I don't think so. You can, you can sort of hear how it's, it's slowly getting better. You can slowly hear the ATC getting more and more clear. Uh, as we get uh, as we get closer and closer to it. cool um, I'm gonna turn my engines to climb mode right now so we'll flick these to climb awesome and guys we're just uh, we're just cruising now we're gonna have a fun flight here uh, today it's gonna be great it's gonna be, it's gonna be good fun. again flight time I think is uh, two I'm gonna say, what to say right now? Two hours, three minutes. Yeah, that seems about that seems about right. That seems about right. We're passing over Lake Superior right now. Uh, what airline? North Star Air. North Star Air. North Star Air. And call sign is Black Fly 168. So that is, uh, that is what we're uh, flying to. We're gonna do some northern. Ontario uh, regional airline flying off for probably uh, the last time in a long while, and then we go back to find big jet planes. Uh, guys, tomorrow I have an interesting stream. If you guys want to tune in tomorrow, um, I'm gonna fly in Asia. They have an event going on tomorrow, so I'm actually going to start flying at 7 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, but I'm gonna start streaming from Toronto to Toronto. Again. Uh, I'm thinking Monday, month and Monday, so all of Atlantic Canada has ATC online on Monday, so maybe next Monday or the Monday after we'll fly a charge. Uh, and we'll go to a charge time. Or one turn right to right tomorrow. Uh, but anyways guys, tomorrow I will be streaming early in the morning. It's uh, it's the long weekend anyways, so happy Good Friday to everyone. Uh, but again, 
uh, mainland China, their that PRC, they have an event going on tomorrow um, in China. So we're gonna fly uh, China Easter tomorrow morning at like 7 a.m. in the morning. Hey David, welcome, welcome, uh, and thanks for the follow. Really appreciate it. Welcome aboard. So yeah, uh, tomorrow's flight should be really interesting. Uh, what I'm nervous about the most uh, flying in China is because China is one of the few countries in the world that still uses meters in aviation. So everything you hear on the, eight, on the radio tomorrow, you guys tune into live stream, all of that would be in meters, but I have to fly the plane in feet. So there's a conversion chart that that PRC has actually put out to help people actually convert the altitudes uh, from feet to meters. So this should be an interesting flight. That plus the amount of traffic that's going to be online tomorrow uh, is going to make for some interesting flight flying tomorrow. So again, um, I'm going to be online earlier tomorrow just to record a video for you guys. But after that, uh, I'm going to start the live stream around 9 a.m. How long will the stream last tomorrow? About two and a half hours, three hours. I think it's a two. I think it's a two-hour flight from Shanghai to Beijing, which is London, England. No, no, no. no. London, Ontario. London, Ontario. Um, yeah, so the flight, I think, from Shanghai to Beijing is two hours long, but because of all the delays on the ground, there's going to be a lot of planes on the ground, like the last time I flew in China. Uh, I anticipate the stream probably be three and three and a half hours. Uh, we'll see how long it takes me. Again, I'm going to be online, I'm going to do two legs, but I'm going to stream one leg, just because I don't want to embarrass myself in front of you guys, and it's really, really hectic on the, on the Chinese NPC. So I just want to make sure I know what I'm doing before I stream. Yeah. ATR, that is correct. That is absolutely correct. We're going to ATR. North Star Air, any of us heard of that? Alright. So I think we're flying over Lake Superior right now. To my understanding, that's where we are right now. Uh, we do again have ATC in London, Ontario. Uh, one plane is taking off, and then there's me flying in. Uh, so that should be pretty interesting. Uh, Kramer, thanks for the follow. Really appreciate it. Welcome aboard. hear the radio effects. Um, uh, I used to model the Dash 8. That made the RJ is very close. Uh, Chisholm, SM, thanks for calling. Really appreciate what you're uh, You guys can see, uh, you guys can hear that the radio is very, very stacky right now. Um, so you can hear the radio right now. It's very, very stacky right now. Um, and it's because it's simulating uh, the actual distance from Toronto Center. So as we are closer to Toronto Center, the static should be less and you'll hear the radio much better. Uh, so I find that this to be I find this to be a very cool feature uh, of that center, for sure. Um, I'm a bit off my flight plan here. Uh, that would make sense. Direct here. Uh, let's go... Sure, I mean, yeah, you can go direct it. Uh, we'll go direct to CMX actually. We'll go direct to Charlie Mike X ray. We'll go to Charlie Mike X ray here. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Nah, it doesn't matter. Actually, you know what? We'll race that. It, it doesn't really matter. Uh, nah, that doesn't actually matter. Nah, we'll leave it. Um, clear temporary. Yeah, we'll just clear that. It's fine. We'll go direct to Tudor. That, that's, that, that's fine too. Have you ever done CYFB to CYXP? I have not. Um, I have not, unfortunately. We've flown some really, really weird... Uh, we've flown some very, very weird uh, routes um, in the last while. I will, though, Robert. I'm thinking next Tuesday we're going to do a Calouette. So CYFB, we're going to do CYFB to CYZF next. Uh, either that, or I'm going to do Yellowknife to Yukon. Uh, uh, Yellowknife to White Horse. I'm not sure. I'm not sure um, if I want to do a Callaway to Yellowknife. It's a three and a half hour flight. So I don't know if I want to do that. 
United the Beautiful Fjord and YXP. Interesting. Okay, so you know what? Maybe next week we'll fly... Maybe what we'll do is next week we'll fly from Yellowknife to, um, to Whitehorse. So maybe that's what I'll do next Tuesday. Let's do that. And I think the flight time would actually be even shorter. So I can even just check here. So C Y Z F to C Y X Y. Uh, let's see how long the flight time is actually on uh, for that. Uh, it's a seven thirty-seven dash eight. It's a flight time of two, it's a flight time of two hours. So it might be the better play here. So you know what? Let's do that. Next Tuesday, I will probably fly Yellowknife to Whitehorse. Let's do that. I I maybe we'll do like. Maybe we'll do Iqaluit somewhere else. Because I don't know if I want to fly three and a half hours from <laughs> Iqaluit to Yellowknife. What's up, man? Hey, Stephen, thanks. Welcome, welcome. We're, we're, just, we're just cruising right now. Uh, we're cruising. We're over Lake Superior right now. Uh, so this is Lake Superior right now. We're just flying over Lake Superior from Thunder Bay to, uh, to, uh, to London, Ontario. And then we're going to fly from... Uh, London, Ontario to Toronto City is a very mission in uh, in North Star Air, call sign Black Fly. Uh, you can hear the radios being very, very stacky right now uh, as we get sort of closer. As we get closer to um, Toronto Center, the, the frequency should sound better. There is an ATIS, S-C-Y-T-Z, but uh, there's no real ATC online right now at Billy Bishop. Uh, but I'm sure that's going to change as, as the night goes on here. We are getting close to Toronto Center-ish. It'll be here. Uh, I'll be here for some time. You plan on find the Phoenix? Um, next week. I think Seafin, I think next... If I have time, works a bit busy for me, okay, but if I get time to fly the... I want to fly the um, Phoenix maybe one or two flights before I take it on stream. Uh, so tomorrow we're going to be flying in Asia, because uh, Asia, uh, mainland China, so that here C has an event tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to fly from Shanghai to Beijing Airport. Um, I'm going to use the fly-by-wire. I thought really, really hard about when I wanted to fly. So. China Eastern flies the A320 um, and Hainan, Air, Hainan Airlines flies the 737 wheel but the 737 is I think a bit too manual for me um, so I wanted more of an automatic flight so that's why I figured we're going to fly the A320 and I don't think I want to get the Phoenix out just yet especially in busy airspace like in mainland China so I figure we're going to fly the, we're fly the fly by wire tomorrow and then next week we'll start flying the Phoenix. Um, I think that's how we're gonna do that. But uh, tomorrow should be interesting, guys. Again, I'm gonna be up at 7 a.m. Uh, I'm gonna be up at 7 a.m. I'm gonna record a video. So I'm gonna do one leg of the flight. I'm gonna do one leg of the flight uh, off stream, but I will be online on that sim tomorrow at 7 a.m. in the morning, 7 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, tomorrow morning because the event starts at 7 30 uh over there 7 30 p.m so i will be online to just record one leg of the flight for a video and then i'm on the second leg of the flight tomorrow i'm going to uh we'll go on stream it's a combination of the fact that uh it's very busy airspace in china i've done it one time uh, and number two uh is that china is one of the few countries in the world that still uses meters for uh, aviation, so it's gonna be really, really hectic. Uh, and number three, uh, if you've ever seen the charts in China, they are a mess. It's an absolute nightmare to read the charts. So last time I flew, I didn't, I didn't have navigaps. This time I do have navigaps, so I'm hopeful it's gonna be a much better experience uh, doing it. So I'm excited, anyways. It's gonna be a good stream tomorrow. Uh, flight time, I think, from Shanghai to Beijing, it's gonna be two hours long. Uh, but with all the delays on the ground on both sides, I just need to be a three-hour stream. And then if it's a successful stream, next time I'll stream both flights of the flight. Um, or we'll fly somewhere else uh, in Asia. But that's what I'm going to do tomorrow morning. 
I flew in China one time on that speed. It was huge for the speed. Yeah, it was very, very hectic. Uh, that PRC actually, they have a, they updated their website. They actually have a conversion chart now on their website. So you can convert feet to meters. So everything on, every everything ATC tells you in China is in meters, but you still fly the plane in feet. Which drives me nuts. I figured if you're gonna make me fly the plane in feet, you, you might as well just switch over to, uh, to feet, right? Um, so I don't understand it anyways. But that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. We're gonna try Delta 86 to see out the Alpha, Mike, India, Lima, Uniform. We're just about to cross over into um, into Toronto Center's ATC here. So I'm gonna pick them in maybe about five minutes, uh, less than five minutes here. I'll give ourselves a bit more time here. We're crossing. Uh, on the border right now of the U. This is Lake Superior right now. Here, Canada, we're, we're, we're crossing over right the border between the uh, U.S. and Canada. Right now. We're actually right on the border. Speedbird 99. And you can hear as we get closer right and closer to, to the Toronto zero. Center, the frequency gets more and more clear. So I find the simulation very, very clear. Uh, plane guy 456. Thanks for the call. Really and Speedbird 99. Work. What's the first waypoint that you do have that you're able to go through? Uh, those joining us, we are not, I've been asked this twice now, we are not flying to London, England, we are flying to London, Ontario. Is that the new flight similar? Okay, it is. We are fam family, thanks for follow, we really appreciate welcome board. Yes guys, so I've been asked like twice already on the stream. Are we flying to London, England? We are not flying to London, England from Thunder Bay in an ATR. I don't think it has enough fuel anyways. I think I would fall I don't think it has enough fuel to even get us to to like ride with regiment in Iceland, to be honest. With you. I don't even know I don't know I actually don't know what the range of ATR is, but it's definitely not far. I bet you I bet you I can barely make it to Halifax from Toronto in an ATR. I think. I think I can barely make it to Halifax um, in an ATR. Wise. Again, we're cruising 19,000 feet, so this is like gorgeous, gorgeous views that we're seeing right now. Direct Agnob on course. Dash 8, unfortunately, no, we're flying the ATR. We're flying the ATR, which is what uh, Lodestar Air actually flies in real life. Uh, they do have a fleet called uh, ATR, so that's what we call it actually. I've really cut off so much time here. The flight was supposed to be 2 hours and 20 minutes, but I think I'm going to cut this flight down to like an hour before the thing. So, um, once we land in Toronto City Airport, I don't know if we'll do another leg of the flight. Maybe we'll take the Phoenix out for a spin tonight. I'm tempted to fly the Phoenix tonight. We'll see how things go. But we'll see how things go. If not, the Phoenix can wait till, I guess, uh, next week. Um, if I, the, the systems are exactly the same as the fly-by-wire, it just adds a bit more intricacies that I just... It has intricacies, and the second thing with the with the Phoenix compared to Fly by Wire is the feel of the of the of flying it. it, it it's different physics. It, I think it has more realistic okay, physics, so it's kind of hard to get used to physics. So we're gonna get we're gonna take some time to get used to the physics of the so I might do some offline and I need to just practice some of circuits here, some pad work. Maybe we do some pad work, uh, just to practice some of that. Where are you flying to right now? Uh, London, Ontario. And there, ac there actually is ATC online in London. There's tower, tower is actually online in London, Ontario, which is hilarious. I love it. So we're gonna have full ATC on this leg, and we're gonna have full ATC on the next leg of the flight. We go from London to Toronto. And um, in terms of the time, guys, um, we are not at real time. We're what are we like three hours back right now? Because again, especially in the smaller airports, you can't really see anything. I'm gonna actually uh, change, I've got to change this to uh, standard pressure. Uh, so we're gonna do that right there. And then the decision height for London um, is gonna be 1112. So we can actually just set this right here. So before I forget, whoops. Uh, set that. We can actually set this to 1112. 
3404, unfortunately, Montreal Center is offline. The mail service is terminated. Switch to Unicom 122.8. Get it. Okay, cool. Um, and I'm going to double check. Uh, right now, in London, Ontario, they are landing on 1.5, which is an ILS approach. So I am very, very excited about that. I'm going to double check to see if this is still true. So give me a sec here. Aww, oh, they're arriving on uh, the two sevens now. Damn. Nah, that sucks. That's unfortunate. Did they just update it? Did they just flip the runways around? Speedbird 99, fly heading 250. Here's a question then for you guys, for flight simmers. I... Because it's such a small airport, can I, can I request runway 15? Right arrival? now they're not 9115, they're 90 on 27 now on VATSIM apparently. Uh, but am I allowed to request a different. Uh, am I allowed to request a different. Uh, Delta 410, contact arrivals 132 decimal 8, get it. Am I allowed to request a different. Runway okay, check. On the small uh, runway. It's I interesting don't know. that you only have Abdal as your first waypoint. That's. No waypoint for the I see the eight is the landing right. part of runway two seven. I don't think so because they have they have how busy the runway. Uh, it's not busy at all. My real issue. My my real issue is that uh, two seven is the other way. So I don't think they would. I don't think they would send. They allow me to land on the other direction. You can't. They might may or may not give. Interesting. Send them a message, maybe we'll get closer to. Tell you what, we'll, we'll keep it on 1-5, yeah, because of opposing traffic. That's that's oh, exactly the reason, A-Smith, so... I don't think they'll give it to me. If it was multiple... I don't know, because it's a small airport, so that's my... That's that's the thing. It's a small airport with low traffic, so they might give it to me, but again, the winds might be against me. Um, and there might be opposing traffic, right? That's my real biggest issue. They're not gonna allow planes to land and take off on different directions. If it was a, if it was a, uh, if they had parallel runways, I think you could easily ask for that request. I don't think they'll grant it to me. To be honest, so maybe we'll just forget because uh, they're not gonna let me fly a posi. They're not gonna let me fly the posi direction. Right. If there's another airport taking off or landing at the same time, then they won't. Okay, but even if there, okay, so but if there's not a plane. But if you're the only aircraft, they might let you. Okay. Interesting. I guess maybe it's worthwhile asking. Do you think it'd be asked? I guess it'd be worthwhile asking, right? There's, I think, one other plane in London, Ontario, right now. Beaver 99. Okay, no worries. Uh, just flat press. You'll be completing my time flight, agreed. Um, I think there is an RNAV approach though on 27. Here. I actually didn't think there's an R I think there's an RNAV approach on 27. So, I mean, we can. Break, break. Golf, golf, golf. Let's see, there is a VOR DME and there's an RNAV 27 approach. So, there is a there is an RNAV approach here. Um, so, it won't be too bad, I guess. Um, anyways, I think we're crossing into Toronto Center airspace. Call Alpha Zulu, you've identified 2,500 feet. Proceed direct to the Hamilton I'm going to ping Toronto Center right here. 2,500 feet. Ping Toronto Center right here. And see what they say here. I'll fly it visually if you, can, if you can't land. Okay, I mean, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll hand fly the landing in anyways. We'll hand fly final in anyways. I just, I'd rather set up to like 1,000 feet using my computer here. Keeper 99, turn 10 degrees right. All right, let's contact uh, ATC right now. Um, I think I'm in their airspace. It's it's interesting. I'll show you guys what I'm looking at on my screen right now, and you guys tell me. But uh, if I look here, look at my if I look at my charts right here, I'm right here. So I'm right on the border of Toronto Center. But I'm gonna need Toronto Center anyways later on. So I wonder if he's gonna tell me to leave him alone till we cross over. Uh, what lake is this? Lake Michigan? No, that's lake. This is Lake Michigan. So what is this like Erie? I think this is Lake Erie. So I don't know if he's gonna tell me contact us when you're closer to Lake Erie or not, but uh, Lake Huron, okay. So I, I'm gonna contact him anyways, and we'll see what he said. We'll see what he says. Um, let's we'll see what he says. I, I I'm kind of in his airspace, kind of in his airspace. Not really, but uh, it's worth. I think it's always worthwhile asking. Toronto Center, good evening, uh, Blackfly168, 
Um, we are flying right over Lake Superior to flight level 190. Um, we're on the cusp of your airspace, uh, so I'm wondering, are we with you right now? My flight 168 Toronto Center, you're not with me, you're outside my airspace. This game is com 122 decimal late, that'll talk to you soon. Sounds good, we'll contact you later then. Cheers. Okay, yeah, so we're not gonna cross we're not gonna cross this airspace. Uh so when we land I guess in um when we land closer to southwest Ontario we'll connect with uh we'll connect with uh Toronto Center here. But the the flight plan, the flight plan is so weird. I'll show you guys on the charts here. The flight plan is so weird. we're just outside of Toronto Airspace. I took the shortest route to get to Toronto, but you can see the boundary of Toronto Center is right here. It's this, it's this green line, it's this green dash line right here. So we are literally not gonna meet up with Toronto Center till right till we cross over like Huron, uh, over here. So um, that's gonna be interesting uh, for sure. But again, we're around the border. You see that? Because I'm going direct to Tudor. I'm going direct to Tudor right now. I'm ignoring my, I'm ignoring my flight plan right now, and we're going direct to Tudor. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be weird. I uh, to say the least here. Uh, CZ YZ uh, yeah aerospace. We're we're kind of right in between. Uh, I guess this would be what is this Minneapolis? I guess that's Minneapolis uh, airspace right here. Minneapolis Center is where we are right now. But uh, anyways. It's telling you my top of descent is over here. That's so interesting. Uh, 327 nautical miles. That makes sense. Cool. And it's interesting. The ATC actually knew what Black Fly was, which I thought was. Hilarious. Three Charlie Mike, when ready to send 7,000. The front off is there. Two niner, niner, four. You can expect runway three. So we're just chilling. I don't, I, I think for realism guys, I don't really care, we'll fly the RNAV approach, that's what you get for flying those small airports anyways, so maybe what I'm gonna do guys is let's just do some flight planning here, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take runway 27 instead, let's just do that, we're just gonna take runway 27 here and call it a day, uh, so I'm gonna look at the ATIS here again, uh, departing and... Uh, RNAV runway 27. So that's what using. All right. So we'll go back here. We'll go RNAV 27. RNAV 27 approach. Oh, lame. United 250 runway 24 right. right now. Cool. Cross Istan 17,000. Whoops. Uh, Okay, so we'll clear this discontinuity, we'll execute that. And, and then we'll now to confirm that, that was when ready to send 7,000. So, uh, you don't need to start that now. If you don't want to, you can do it whenever you like. Awesome. Cool. Uh, we'll take a look at our charts here. So, I'm just going to set up for the 27 RNAV approach, so just for realism. Paper 99 to send 8,000, um, turn off we'll just do that. So we'll do our net 27. Uh, the uh, paper 99, altimeter 29904. I assume he's gonna put me through gold packs. Yeah, he's gonna put me through gold packs. So let's uh, go over here. Let's go over here. Uh, thank you for the follow, JBZ. Really, really appreciate it. Okay, so why don't we do some fly planning here then, right now? Uh, so we'll go over to our. We're going direct to Goto, which is not correct. We should be going via. Uh, we should be going direct to Gopex. Uh, so let me move this over here. We should be going direct to Gopex. So let's just. Speed 99 to 10 degrees left. Golf, Oscar, Papa, Echo, Let's go direct to Gopex. Golf, Alpha, Zulu, Hamilton, altimeter 2997. What happened there? Uh, 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 what did I just do? Uh, flight plan and then route. Oh, I just deleted my time. Scandinavia 949, what? contact arrivals, 132, uh, uh, What airline is this? We are on... Uh, we are on North Star Air. So they're a real airline in Ontario. Uh, where are we heading? CYC, that's correct. We're flying to London, Ontario. 
Okay, so completely just deleted everything. So let's re put this in here. C Y uh, Y Q T to C Y X U. Cool. All right, so we'll go to our flight plan here. Uh, I'm gonna add a waypoint. So we don't need this. Add a waypoint here. I'm looking for a gold flex. So golf. Oscar, X-ray. Okay, gold flex, and then I can add my rival here, which is going to be on the all the way to seven approach. So I look right here. Canada 488, heavy Toronto. I look here on our flight plan. This should be our flight plan right here. I was going, where are you planting on that Just confirm yeah. that's uh, flight level 310. Oh my god. 310, my fault. Guys, my, uh, <laughs> my thing just decided to bug out. Where is it? Flight plan 1. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's try this again. Call passenger report reports to Skybird to the I don't know why this is deciding to bug itself out, but uh, it's all good. Okay. Go Pex. Um, Gold Talk. Unfortunately, Cleveland is offline. Surveillance services terminated. I shouldn't Cleveland be able to. I shouldn't need to do this. Okay. That's the thing. Um. Welcome to advisory. Thank you very much for assistance. Good luck with the traffic at the runway. See you soon. Yeah. This is correct. Hey, Canada 225. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Cleveland is offline. Surveillance services is terminated. Switch to the common due to death plate. Okay, let's see this. Oh, this is. Here's the common due to death plate. This is C. This is C. Y X U. Toronto Center. Here. Good evening, Air Canada 140. One Not one in four. database. Uh, flight level 310. Air Canada 114. Toronto Not Center. Not in database. Zero That's seven. not right. New flight. Secondary in it. I might actually need my secondary flight plan here. Okay, there we go. I need it. Okay, that was the first time I ever used my secondary flight plan. Uh, anyways, guys, let's take a look at the charts here. Clock two zero uh, seven just two. so you guys can Air see what Canada I'm looking at right here. Air Canada one one four. You're identified to level three one zero. Welcome aboard. So we're gonna fly the uh, we'll fly the RNAV two seven approach vehicle packs. Okay. So we're gonna fly this route right here. So this is where we are right now. Um, we're gonna fly here. You guys see the waypoints that I was looking at here. So we're gonna fly direct to Gopex. Runway 27 is not in use right now. God, now I'm so confused. I'm actually so confused right now. The ATIS, the ATIS in London right now, the ATIS, they're telling me that the ATIS is landing the party on runway 27. That's what that's what the ATIS that's what the London Tower ATIS is telling me. So I'm gonna plan for that right now, anyways. Uh, but as you can see, it's a very easy RNAV approach, anyways. It's go past the Gotel, and then uh, no. So if I look here on my thing, go past Gotel, uh, no, and the runway two seven. Um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm, I'm indifferent either way. I don't know why this plane has just been. I don't know what this plane is doing, guys. Oh my gosh. This is so weird. What is it doing right now? <laughs> what is that plane doing, guys? All good. Uh, I don't know. It's not following my net. It's not following my net right now. And I'm lagging pretty bad. Oh, there you go. I'm on lag now. You see this? My flight, my flight plan says it should go this way. I don't know why it's uh, it's designed to be derp here. I don't know why it's derping here. Uh, direct to GoPex. Execute that. Okay. And then activate nav mode. There you go. Uh, activate L nav and then activate V nav mode. Oh, you know why? Because I don't think I was on a 30 degree intercept. I don't think I was on the 30 degree intercept with the with the waypoint, so I think that's why that was bugging out there. We're we're good either way. Here comes the 40. There we go. Now we're back on track. Cool. So I put you mess with the flight plan, guys. Air Canada 488, heavy. There we go. 
now we're back on track. This is what's. This is okay, what is left of our like Lake Superior. We are flying over Lake Superior. We are flying right yeah, over what looks like. I don't know what this is, Wisconsin. Okay, kind of 48. Okay, check. Why heading 070 for now? Expect to clear the airspeed about 1 minute. Kind of Wisconsin. Where you flying next? Toronto City Airport. We're going to fly to Toronto City Airport after. Just to make sure this thing is United working. 250, descend 1 1000. Toronto uh, looks very busy right now. Airspace in Toronto sounds very busy as well. <laughs> Air Canada, they have four, delivery eight, ground eight, tower. Uh, are you able to see Amoeba 9 arrival? Was on what does Max, what does max uh, continues power mode mean? mean? Uh, where do you see that? Uh, from where? From Thunder Bay. I can afford it. There you go, we're uh, back on track. If you need to set a runway to find that out, you can have either 2-3 or 2-4, right? Your choice. There you go, now we're back on track. Awesome. Uh, we'll have, uh, really... Hey, firm, you can plan runway 2-3. Um, and then, yeah, just let me know if you have... When you put climb power? Button. Yeah, this is just power management. Yeah. Um, again, on the ATR, there is no auto throttle. Uh, so I have to manage my speed the entire time myself uh, and then when it says takeoff um, MCT climb and cruise uh, those are just the different settings so uh, when I'm climbing I use climb when I'm in cruise I use cruise it just helps save the engine uh, and it's more efficient to, to keep in this mode uh, and then when we're landing and we'll turn back to takeoff yeah so, so that's what this is for I said how you can fly a buggy plane LL. Uh, it's getting better. It's getting better. We figured out the icing issue. We figured out the icing issue. Apparently, I have to de-ice the plane 15 minutes before I take off for the plane to actually work. So last week when we were in Yellowknife, guys, I was wondering why my hydraulics weren't working and everything. It's because the plane wasn't de-iced long enough. So I, I thought that was an interesting experience. Uh, but you can see on the wings here, no ice now. But when we took off from Thunder Bay, our wings were had a bad time. Our wings had our wings and our engines and our hydraulics. Okay, that 401 Toronto Center Squawk 225. But I thought that was interesting uh, just to simulate uh, that experience though. Um, so yeah. Uh, we're flying over now we're flying over Lake Michigan. So we're actually gonna do a world tour of all of the lakes. Lake Michigan somewhere in front of me right here. If it wasn't so cloudy you can see Lake Michigan uh, right there. But this uh, yeah Right now we're just cruising, guys. Uh, Can we where YXU is? Uh, London, Ontario. London, Ontario. Okay, the 488, 8 firm, clock 7 7 And then tomorrow, guys, uh, if you want to join me at 8 a.m. Eastern Time tomorrow, uh, we'll be flying in Asia tomorrow. So, uh, North Star Air, yeah, that's correct. The kind of four North Star Air is a real airline. Uh, They're based out of Thunder Bay. Turn left, heading 350. Let me know when you're ready to copy the clearance. They're owned by Northwest Company. You know where he, Interesting. Uh, you where do you fly right next? To uh, Toronto uh, City uh, Airport, so Billy Bishop Airport. Airport, and the scenery downtown Toronto uh, is gorgeous. I do have the scenery uh, for downtown Toronto. I think it looks pretty cool. So I can't wait to fly into downtown Toronto. Um, it is real weather right now. United uh, it is real weather right now. Uh, time is, uh, we are what, four hours behind on the time. Just because, especially smaller airports, I can't see anything. So it's not fun for me to fly, it's not fun for you guys to watch, you can't see anything. So that's why I always turn time back to make it like I can see live weather is on, real time is on. India, Alpha, Toronto Center, good day. Uh, welcome aboard. Yep. Uh, but hopefully when we get into City Airport, we should have a uh, assessment landing, or we can turn it on real time. We'll see how we'll see how things go. We'll honestly see how things go, uh, and we'll go from there. 
you normal time is amazing, put it on for two seconds, please stop. Uh, uh, you want me to put normal time so, real quick? Uh, I'm just wondering, time. I'm going to Toronto here. Am I just Pink sky? Straight to Ooh, it's gorgeous. Uh, it's gorgeous. Well, look at this. It's a gorgeous Traffic sunset. 442, you check into the perfect time. I was just about to send you a contact. Walk uh, MDWA, uh, thanks for the follow. Uh, what airline are you going to fly from Thunder Bay to Toronto? Um, well, we're going to you mean you mean from London to Toronto? Uh, probably North Star Air as well. Probably North Star Air, unless you're going to fly Porter. I guess we could fly Porter. Yeah, I'd rather just fly North Star. Thunder Bay, yeah. I'm flying from London to Toronto, very cool. Well, Lucas, if you're on Bassett Machine, come join me. I'm thinking I'm from Thunder Bay, very cool, Alex. Welcome, welcome. I have a bunch of I have a bunch of friends from Thunder Bay, so I visit Thunder Bay a lot. I, uh, I, come to, I go to Thunder Bay a lot of times. And we spent a good amount of time looking at the Thunder Bay scenery as well. It's pretty cool. I love Thunder Bay. Absolutely. It's a, it's a nice town, for sure. You guys have everything you need there. American 442, turn left. Where are you going out to? Uh, we're going to London, Ontario. So we'll find some smaller airports. Uh, we're going to find some smaller airports today, guys. Anyways, I'm going to turn it back to... I'm, I'm going to turn it back to... I'm going to turn it back to... 4 p.m. here. Maybe I'll turn it to 5 p.m. Actually, maybe I'll turn it to 6 p.m. Break, break. Air Canada 488, you're re cleared to Toronto Pearson. Let's do this. Let's do 537. Amoeba. Are going to come to the bar? Arrival. You should fly a jet Porter plane to Toronto next. Um, what, the, what, what jet engine does Porter fly though? I feel like they fly the Embraer. I feel like they fly the Embraer and I don't actually have the Embraer, unfortunately. What mode should you put on your detent? Uh, you should put it to, you should put it to, like, manual, where it says, like, man, man on the, uh, primary display. But you can see, even on max power, I'm only going 220 I can have one, uh, yeah, sorry about that. I mean, yo, H4Z, um, welcome, I meant to find you, H4Z. We did, we did Wasai, we did Wasaya. We did Waseya uh, Airways on Tuesday, and we zero, had six real-life Waseya Airways pilots zero. join the stream, and one of them flew the exact right. tail number that I was flying that day. So that was a lot of fun. We flew from uh, Piwanak, Ontario, to Wapakaka Lake, to Pickle Lake, Ontario, on Tuesday. So that video, guys, is on YouTube. So if you want to look at my YouTube channel, we do stream on YouTube as well. Uh, but we did do Waseya Airways um, in Northern Ontario, in the middle of nowhere in bad snow. So I just want to put that out there. That did happen there. Should I put take on mode for descent? Uh, for descent? No, not for descent. When you're on a final approach, turn back to take off mode. Thank you for whiskey. Expect for way two, three. Uh, one, jet port planes E95. Yeah, I don't have, I don't have an Embraer yet. Maybe I'll go. Maybe I'll buy the Embraer, but. Uh, Absolutely, you can. Yeah, I just figured yeah. uh, you're gonna park north. Yeah, you can expect from the um, I don't. I, I'm learning the CRJ right now. I don't really like the CRJ. It's a well-modeled plane, but the screens are so damn small on the CRJ. I don't know why they made the screens so small on the CRJ, but. Uh, I think we'll debut the right CRJ in a few weeks, um, and one of my viewers gifted right me the Phoenix A320, uh, so I've just been messing around with the Phoenix, so I think the next few planes we're going to fly the Phoenix, and we're going to fly a CRJ in the upcoming weeks. Um, what I'm really excited for, guys, is I have the Concord. Uh, I forgot who made the Concord. I do have the Concord, so I want to do Toronto to LA in an hour and a bit on the Concord. So we're going to troll around on that some a bit. With the Concorde. I have an Air Can delivery for the Concorde, so I'm actually excited to put that thing out there. The exterior and the sounds of the Concorde sound amazing. The interior is less to be desired, to be honest with you. It, it's, it's, it, 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 looks, it looks like something from the 2000s on the inside. Of the, on the outside, it's, it's, it's great. It's great on the outside. Can't complain. Uh, I do have the Thank you. India no. Yankee Alpha check. Which, uh, when able, just let me know which approach you would like today. But yeah, 
that uh, that was say uh, and and I was told it's not and I was told it's not pronounced Wasaya. It's pronounced Wasaya. So it was really cool. They had the entire they put like the entire they, they showed me a picture afterwards. They had the crew house in Pickle Lake and they were playing my stream on and they were saying you know what no one in the right mind would ever fly flight sim on Wasaya Airways. So I thought that was a pretty cool experience. I enjoyed it. Um, right now we are flying North Star Air. Uh, so they are a real airline that's based out of Thunder Bay, Ontario. So that's how we're flying this guy from Thunder Bay to Montreal. Right 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 and then leg two of the flight will be from Montreal to Toronto City. So wait for the bait, guys. I know you guys have asked me, is this London, England? It is not London, England. Is this London, England? Is not London, England. <laughs> Unfortunately. I don't think I don't think a 77 could even take off from Thunder Bay. Thunder Bay. I might be wrong though. I have to check the, I have to check the, I have to check the, I have to check the runway and like, um, but I don't think I've ever fly that anyways, if that wasn't option. Climb side level 330. Climb 330, let's check 5191. We're crossing over, uh, you guys can't see it because there's uh, clouds right here. Oh guys, you guys can see it. That's, uh, that's Lake Michigan, I'm pretty sure. We're flying over Lake Michigan right now. Uh, so we'll fly over Lake Michigan again, then we'll cross over Lake Huron. Toronto Center, Canada, 227, Let's see you on my, but I gotta head out and join. Which was he coming for the landing later, man? I got gotta, I gotta get you to judge me. Um, what does back post smoke do? I don't know what that is. Where's back post smoke? 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 Tell me where it is. I'll wait to get right Charlie Mike, contact arrivals 132. Under APP. Under APP. Back course? Welcome to climb flight level 330. Uh, level 330 for Delta 2115, thanks. Charles Center, what's up? Is that with you? To be honest, I'm not too sure what that button actually does. What's that 353 Toronto Center? I'm not sure what that does. If anyone actually knows what that thing provides automatic intercept capture and tracking back course localizer system. What does that even mean? It's an ILS feature, if I recall. So why call it back course then? Why call it, why call it, why not just call it like, low It's saying the back course of the ILS, so the back side, it's like if you're back taxing a runway or something, it's using the back of the ILS, not the front of it. It's what, I, I would take a look at it. But I don't know what the point of that is if you, just, if you have the approach mode on as well. There's a lot of planes here in, uh, in Ontario today. Like an insane amount. Oh my god, guys. There are 27. Here, I'll show you guys what I'm looking at here. Crazy. It's like a reverse signal, I don't remember. Yeah, that's what I thought. We can take a look, guys, um, at Pearson right now. I'm not actually jealous of this right now, but if you look at Pearson right now, guys. Uh, look at Pearson right now. There are 28 departures out of Pearson, 35 arrivals from Pearson. So it's pretty, pretty, it's pretty, pretty, pretty busy airspace right now uh, in Toronto right now. Uh, we can take a look right now where we are. So we're right here, we're BF-168. We're flying to London. And then uh, there is an ATIS at Billy Bishop, uh, but there's no tower approach right now Billy Bishop. Hopefully that changes uh, as we start arrive into, uh, into Toronto. They're going to change that because I don't know how I'm going to get my my direction otherwise. So we'll see how things go. But uh, this is where we are right now. So we flew from Thunder Bay, uh, and we're coming across to the left heading two seven zero back to Fifty One. Is that two and zero? Two seven zero. Alright guys, um, I'm going to take a uh, quick water break here, so give me 20 seconds guys, I'll be right back in about 20 seconds here. Uh, we're just cruising anyways, so give me 20 seconds guys, I'll be right back. Three, Charlie Lima, contact arrivals, one, three, two, decimal eight, good day. Citation 3, Carson, Citation 5, Charlie Lima, contact arrivals, 132, decimal 8, good day. 132, decimal 8, 401, when ready, descend flight level 240. 
Air Canada 401, when ready, descend flight level 240. When ready, 240, Canada 401. Delta 2115, Cleveland's offline, surveillance service is terminated, switch to Unicom, enjoy the flight. Hey, Unicom, thanks for being on Delta 2115, we'll see you. Air Canada 3030, welcome. It was a short talk, but a nice talk. Unfortunately, Cleveland's offline, switch to Unicom 122, that's the link. Good day. 122, that's the one you have, good night. Air Canada 227, I don't know if you can hear me just on instructions, but we're talking about that. Air Canada 227, display level 240. Eastern 240, Air Canada 227. And, uh, Toronto Center, good evening. Um, Air Canada 425, uh, play level 320. Guys, I am back. Like I promised. Air Canada 425, Toronto Center, Squawk 5236. Alright guys, I am back. 5236. That's how you can open the cockpit and come up during the ATR. Yeah. American 442, descend 111. We should try doing it. Should we do it right now? Descend 111. Should, should, should we do it right now? Uh, I mean, yeah, we can go inside the cabin for sure. So look. Uh, if I did this, uh, let's do this. I think it's this. So there's the cabin right now, the ATR. So we can, uh, Go here. We'll. Oh, whoops. Oh, God. Oh, how did I do that? Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Um, I don't think I'm in the stop button. Okay. I think it's Alt 1. So let's do this Alt 1. Uh, we can go to the wing here and take a look. Uh, so I'm gonna hit Shift Turn and then Alt Down. No. Shift Down. So I said 2199, turn right heading 0, 7, How do I 0. go down? Yeah, I should have said how do I go down. I have the cockpit on right now. Okay. I don't know how to get down. Uh, uh, I don't know how to get down. I went to 2199. It'll normally be the ILS approach that we give for 24 right. Expect the ILS approach for 24 right. Thanks. Let's try this. Shift this way. No, I, I can't. Well, we can do this though. I do have uh, this view here. I press the down button on my keyboard. Oh, that's how you do it. Oh, very cool. Oh, just down. You don't press all. Okay, let's try again. Okay, let's again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay, that's so cool. Okay, you're right. You're right. It was just the down button. I don't. I don't have to. Okay. Air Canada two twenty seven. So I'm gonna go alt. We're gonna go straight across. Okay. Uh, and then we'll go on this side. So on our center, air camera 7045, passing 165,000, okay. we'll so, so 23,000 there, and 5 miles across to Lycos. Air Canada 7045, front of center, welcome. So it doesn't let me go outside. Oh, I guess center, it doesn't let me go out. Uh, you have to cheese the custom views to get outside. But yeah, I can cheese it by going outside like that. But you can't. Uh, no, let's do that. So, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, um, take a look at where we are right now. Uh, we are right now 210 nautical miles to our destination. Air Canada 425, we're going to level Uh, one ready, descend flight level 240. Expect runway 24 right. Oh god, this guy's gonna hate this. Toronto Center's gonna hate me. Um, when we get into Toronto Center airspace, it's gonna be abundant when he has so much time to get in his airspace right now. 132, Left at 2199, turn left. Direct Istin, resume the star, descend 1 1000, altimeter 299 or 4. Direct Istin, resume the star. Air Canada 227, proceed direct Istin, resume the star, descend 1 7000, altimeter 299 or 4. Proceed direct Istin, resume the star, descend 1 7000, Canada 227. Caribbean 626, descend 1 1000. Canada 7045, Guys, we're just cruising and enjoying lives. This is why I don't like doing long cruises, because we're just chilling. I'm gonna leave my chair back here. I'm gonna leave my chair back and just get chill. On your way to London, 
London, Ontario. Yes. Center, me too. I'm not flying to ATR from London being, to London. But one zero four two three zero with uh, you. The Canada six ninety four Toronto Center, class level three seven zero. Three seven zero Canada six ninety four. Yeah. Well, I don't know why you guys are hanging. Why are you guys hanging on London, Ontario? London, Ontario is great. No, they got Western. They got Western University. They got Mustangs. Yeah. I, I don't know what the range is. Actually, let's see. Let's actually look up the range of the ATR. Let's look at the range of the ATR because I'm curious. Actually, let's look at the range of the ATR. I. Uh, oh boy. India, India, Alpha. Looks like you descended. The range of the ATR, guys, is seven hundred and three knots. So I don't even think you can bring this one. You might, I don't know, can you bring this from Toronto to Halifax? I don't even think you can fly this in town to Halifax, you run out. Uh, you might be able to, 740 nautical miles, I don't know how far that is. I actually don't, I, I, I don't have any sort of frame of reference for how far 7, 740 nautical miles is. But that's the range anyways, of the ATO. Well hold on a second. Let's, let's think about this. A, I think one one nautical mile is about two kilometers. I think. So just doing a brief math here. I know from Toronto to Vancouver is four thousand something kilometers, right? Which is about two thousand nautical miles. So divide that by half. So I mean, I guess we'll probably go to the Winnipeg and then you probably run out of gas. Probably run out of fuel. By doing so. West Jet One Eleven Toronto Center. If you're here and I miss you, welcome to Flight Level Two Nine Zero. I'm thinking for the second leg of the flight, guys, I think we're going to stick Air. I think for two reasons. Number one, I kind of just want to honor the, the fact that Northstar flies the um, ATR real life. And number two, there's too many Air Canada WestJet calls on the, the, uh, the frequency right now. So when they say black fly, it's going to be just me on the frequency. So it should be easier to sort of hear myself. Um, I could probably... I guess I can. Oh, okay. so we're just still cruising, guys. Uh, we'll take a look on that one, though. Just for those wondering where we are right now. We're right here. Uh, so we crossed over Lake Michigan. We're in, I'm gonna say, this is Michigan right now. We're in Michigan State right now. Um, afterwards we're going to cross over to Lake Huron, uh, on the other side of Lake Huron is Toronto airspace, so this line right here is Toronto airspace, so once we sort of cross over here, we're going to join the airspace. Then, um, it's actually very long flight, and I've flown on the bay a lot, I've flown on the bay a lot, so it's, it, is a, it is a long flight in the water as well. Uh, but the scenery is absolutely Well, I guess now we're in Michigan, so the scenery is not as beautiful. Toronto Center, Air Canada 114, we are at our top of the set. Uh, Edmonton uh, Center went online. <laughs> it's crazy. Nat track, the Nat track is also online. Shamwick and Gander is also online right now. Winnipeg Center is online. Metro Center is online. Nothing else is online except for just Toronto, to be honest. Yeah, that's interesting. 
you was it uh what, what approach are you one? doing um the eight is right now roger thank you air canada 114 the eight is telling me uh is telling me that we are using toronto uh, terminal uh, this is the uh, uh, nav, toronto uh, sensor uh, this is uh, charlie uh, golf november uh, golf hotel into uh into golf november golf hotel uh, toronto center today london right now so uh, today uh, uh november uh, golf hotel at 2000 feet going to cyoo from uh, cyzz in this sim, do you ever have to deal with mechanical issues of unforeseen or or unforeseen BFR weather? Or IFR? Uh, yes and uh, yes. BFR, uh, so, uh, um, on this flight and the flight we did on Tuesday and the flight we did last Tuesday in the night, when it's very, very cold, you will see the plane actually ices up. And I none of my none of my electricals or hydraulics work. So I actually have to run the engine for like 15 minutes to heat up the systems and make sure it's running in enough power to actually power the hydraulics so that, is, uh, that actually happened about an hour ago when we were at Thunder Bay it was way too cold uh, so we have to do that uh, and then to answer your first question mechanical issues yes random failures are on as well so I posted a video a couple weeks ago into Toronto Pearson our um Land gear did not work Canada, one, four, a few weeks ago. One, one um, so we can land without landing gear. So that was interesting to say. The same one, one thousand. Um, so that was pretty uh, cool. The Again, Canada, landing gear one, one, failure four. is the easiest thing. Okay, Let's it's easy to manage because you know how to do it, but it's challenging to land without landing gear. But uh, obviously, you just put down the emergency gear extender, um, and that'll fix the plane up. So it does happen. Let's does happen one eleven cross Agnop, flight level two four zero. Cross Agnop 240, Westjet 111. So yeah, you'll see, uh, I, I, maybe what we'll do on the ground is I'll turn off the engines. So you guys can sort of see when we're in London, Ontario, I'll turn off the engines. I don't think it'll be cold enough anyways to ice the plane. It might, uh, but the best thing is to see Or any window fly-offs. Way uh, to right. X-ray and descent. Chance you're gonna get uh, uh, only in to get three. Only in Boeing. They should add a they should add a simulation uh, option. Yep. Uh, runway two. They should add a simulation option for Roger, Boeing to have your um, windows fly off. Runway two three. That would five, that would be very that would be very very realistic if they did that. Hello, sir. Good evening, Illinois four two one. Uh, entering from the south. Uh, three zero nautical miles from the Yeah, only Boeing. Uh, yes. It would be three, realistic, yeah. right? <laughs> it would be a realistic if they, uh, if they did that. 7173. 7173 for Nolan North. Turkish 471, leaving off line. That is nice. We are uh, crossing over. Oh, I'll show you guys again where we are on the map. But that 5191, Montreal's off line. The film surface terminated for the Unicom today. Over to Unicom, what's the 5191 right today? There. I'm pretty sure there's a max plane in Microsoft Flight Simulator, they should add the option to the when ready to send That's when I did my airport here, very good. But yeah guys, you see we are at, we are just finding with Michigan right now, so in front of us should be Lake Huron. Uh, we'll uh, Lake Huron is right there in the distance, so we're going to fly to Lake Huron, and then once we fly over Lake Huron, we're going to be connected to the Unicom today. Uh, to, to support you. Officer Unicom, Warrior 10, 7, 7, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, well, there's a, can you do fire jets? I'm new hey, here. Uh, you one, one, 11, can, thousand, but I, I mean, I don't think there'd be much fun in flying fire jets on that scene, right, Nick? I think if you want to fly fire jets, I think is it called DC? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Alpha is it called DCS? Is that what the game is called? I think DCS would be probably better. Um, I don't think the Microsoft Flight Simulator or that scene is. You can fly fire jets, but just I don't see the point of doing it. What's that? One, not one, one. Front of better. Prop center, go ahead. Watch out, one, one, one. When ready, descend 8,000. Expect runway 2 There's five. a plane flying from LAX to Paris. That's fine above me. Expect runway 2 uh, But he's at 40,000 feet, so we won't hit, because I'm only at 19,000 feet. Good evening, Canada. Are you ready? 
I'm going to wait till I'm right in I'm going to wait till I'm right in Toronto Center's airspace and then we'll contact Toronto Center, good evening, I think this will be because it's way too busy Air Canada 425, Delta 13, When you're not in London, watch the crosswind because it's mad windy Oh shit, that thing You're scaring me now Oh boy uh, we'll take a look. Let's, let's, let's take a look at the ATIS actually right now then. Uh, into London here. Uh, London and ATIS right now. Um, ATIS is saying the winds are 250 at 006. So that means 250 at 006. I guess for the ATIS, it's actually dead. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah, so this plane right here, guys. You see this plane right above me? Um, can you guys see, you guys see that? Can you see that jet stream right there? Right here. This, uh, this guy's going from LA to Paris at 3,000 feet. So I was wondering what that plane was. Yeah, this guy's going to this guy's going to Paris, so he's on like a how long of a flight is that even? Like 12 hours, 12 hours in Paris from LA. I'm guessing. This guy's on a 13 hour flight right now. Okay, check. Yeah. We're never going to Toronto or Canada. That's a 13 hour flight. Yeah, that is correct. So this guy is flying. Uh, this guy's flying a 13 hour flight right now. Right here. So he is Air France. He is Air France uh, 79. He's Air uh, France 79 flying in a right. uh, Dreamliner right now. Turn That's this guy right here. So we can just watch him cross. So we can see his strobe lights are on. We can look here right now. A Lake Huron is this guy right here. So once we're half of you, Lake Huron, we'll be in Toronto. Speaking of which, what we can actually do uh, is decrease our range right now. Uh, and then what I'm also going to do is just take a look at our top of ascent. I don't know if it'll even show me my top of ascent. Let's see. Uh, let's see if it'll even show me my top of ascent. Earth data. Uh, Progress. Where's progress? Progress data. I don't know. What is that? 142 nautical miles. Are you flying Q400? No, we are flying the ATR today. Uh, unfortunately, Microsoft Flight Simulator doesn't actually have a um, a uh, dash Q400. I would love to though. I would absolutely, absolutely love to. Uh, I'm just trying to see here if there's anything that shows on top of the scent here. I'm sure you can see it. I just I don't see it right now. Uh, let me check here. Ah, uh, it's fine. Yeah, uh, it's more like a developer needs to go make. It's more like a developer needs to make it. Uh, I don't know why it's not showing my top of the scent. That's weird. It usually, it usually does show my top of the scent, but I guess I, I don't know what's I, maybe bugged out again. I think it. I think it's bugged out. I fly Thunder Bay to Toronto all the time. Very cool, Gecko. I've I flown Thunder Bay to Toronto a lot of times too. I'm cold. We're gonna fly from London, Ontario to Toronto City miles. Airport after this, guys. Eastbound, uh, so this should be fun. Eastbound, and then yeah. The, let's see, aircraft type here. Columbia 414. They refer to the 9,000, 2,000 below. It'll be no factor. I don't know where my top of the scent is. My brother's a pilot reporter. Very cool, Gecko. Very very cool. So you probably get all the free flights, right? Okay, great. Iraqi 606, turn right, direct, lane, resume the start. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know how this is. I don't know where my top of the scent is, but uh, I feel like ATC will tell me what the scent anyway, so we'll just listen to him. Uh, we're four hours back on time right now, so again, for those joining us, uh, live weather is on right now, real time, this is what it looks like in real time. I won't be able to see anything. So that's why I'm holding the uh, back. Yeah, that's why I'm switching it to I just so I can see what I'm looking at. It's just easier for you guys to see. This is what the point of 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 the point
230 for Wilshire 2426 heavy. FedEx you're identified to 73 flight level 277. Toronto information X ray, expect runway 23. Yeah, we're right over the right 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 here on right now. And uh, descend to I'm gonna guess here based on where we are with the two. I'm gonna guess that in like 50 nautical miles. We're probably still at the center, so I think about this. That's on 79 heavy road, good evening. The main with the US flight level 390, just entering your airspace. Air front 79 heavy, Toronto Center, walk out in. You hear the air front? Walk out in, Air front 79 heavy. You hear Air France 79? India Yankee Alpha, the 73,000. That's the guy, that's the guy we were just talking just about right here. That's, uh, where is he? Where is his, uh, where is his fuel? We were just talking about Air France 79. Today. 122 decimal 8, take another 6, 9, 4, thank you, bye bye. I don't think he's in the airspace just yet. Uh, Dale, thanks for uh, following. Hotel Delta, contact arrival, 132 to the plate, okay? Who's joining us, we're, uh, we're, we're just, we're crossing the Lake Huron right now. Uh, we're gonna be inbound in Toronto, so it's gonna be very soon. And then we're gonna start to send it to my other And then after language, we're gonna fly to Air France, 79, have you added to the flag? Squawk Ident, one more time. Yeah, Squawk Ident, we're just like maybe a mile out of your airspace, so that's why you're not you're not identifying uh, us with you. I didn't know that. Ah, uh, no, I see you. I just need to see the flag before I can identify you. Illinois 421, contact arrival 132 decimal 8. Good day. Alright, 32 decimal 8. Have a great evening. Beautiful. Break, break, West Jet 937, Cleveland Soft Lines, and it's terminated for the Unicom, good day. Yeah, so he's telling Over the Unicom 128. Have a good night. He's not in their airspace just yet. Air France so. 79 Heavy, you're identified flight level 390. Welcome. Okay. Now he's in the airspace. Air France 790, Air France 79, requesting a 5 minute break and call, please. Air France 79 Heavy, it's through, report back. Look up, go back, 79 Heavy. There's Air France 79, guys, that's what we were just talking about. WestJet 111 contact Ottawa arrivals on 135 decimal 15. 135.15 WestJet. I've actually had a lot of time, guys. To be fair, we departed at 726. It's 826. Right so it's honestly going to be like an hour. How does that work? Is someone playing the role for air traffic control? Uh, uh, Jimmy, I made a video last Tuesday of how to get a real ATC on flight sim. Uh, yes, that's a real person who's fully, fully trained as an air traffic controller in uh, the best of the uh, If you're interested in learning more about how to get a real world ATC on flight sim, again, I posted a video on my TikTok on Tuesday. Uh, so I thought a lot of people were kind of interesting. So if you have answers to your questions about that, but yeah, this guy is fully, fully trained. Yeah, fly over to it, sir. Walk to Urban. India Yankee Alpha, you're cleared to be at North Bay RNAV approach runway 26 Tibem transition. Guy north, to local guy north, report north north Bay, down and clear. North Bay. C Y Y D, is that North Bay? That's crazy. That is crazy. What is this guy doing in North Bay? Is anyone here from North Bay? Uh, C Y Y D, I didn't know they had an airport there. Um, I've been in North Bay very, very cool. And, uh, well, I didn't know they had an airport there. That's very cool. We should find another place in Ah, there's... Uh... 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 What's the longest flight you've ever done on sim? Toronto to Vancouver, 5 hours. I hated every minute of it. But you guys begged me to do Toronto to Vancouver. Um, we are going to be doing Cross the Pond on April 20th, so they're doing the lobby right now for slots. Um, but I'm hoping I get Heat Pro, London Heat Pro, so the real one then, to Toronto Pearson. So I will find out, um, I think on April 15th or 16th, I'm going to find out what flight I'm flying on Cross the Pond. Um, I don't care what airport I fly out of in Europe, as long as I fly into Toronto person ideally. I don't really want to fly into Montreal because there's no pathway lights on the runways, so it's kind of hard to land. Um, in Montreal, but hopefully, hopefully we get, uh, one of the vehicles to Toronto, uh, on So that's going to be a 8-hour flight in the, that's going to be 8 hours in the air, 
but because of delays on both sides, I anticipate, um, I just think it will be about 10 to 11 hours of total time. So it's going to be about 12 hours straight of that data. So if you guys are interested in watching it, I'd like to see that in more than that one, one thousand. Send one 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 thousand, and I forgot to say that. Uh, it's going to be great, it's going to be great, 12 hours straight. And then I'm going to send it to you at 17,000 feet. Yeah, you can fly so anywhere you want in the Toronto world, Center, uh, you um, have unless it's a big event, unless it's a busy event. Or, so across the pond route, is that's the biggest event. Yeah, so thousands of pilots are will be flying across the pond from Europe to North America. We are uh, so going for from, big events uh, like across the pond, you have to book a slot, a departure slot. So right now they're doing a lot of departure slots at departure airports. But normally there's no event going on, feel free to fly wherever you want. Or even not busy there. events, like right now Toronto Centre has an event going on right now, uh, but you don't have to, you don't have to book in a, a slot for this event here. Yeah, it's, it's honestly, I think it's just cross the pond and cross the land are probably the only two um, events that are always Air Canada 425, contact arrivals, 1, 3, 2, definitely, get it. Uh, uh, though to be three, fair, two, there two, is, um, Canada, there four, is this five, Manchester okay. event going on, um, on Sunday, and they're asking to book slots for Manchester, that's kind of weird. I would have flown it, but I'm going away that day with Eva Air to Thailand, the very cold one, but I'm jealous, I love to go to Thailand, it's too cold here. We're just about to cross. Contact arrivals one three two. We're just about to cross into Toronto Centre Airport. Uh, mm. Toronto, uh, Toronto Centre Airspace right now. So. Walker fifteen sixty eight. Oh, Toronto. We should be listening to, we should be listening to our call sign here, guys, because right. we actually should be expecting. Okay. X ray when we'll expect one more. I don't know why where my top of the scent is. I don't know why it's not showing my top of the scent. It's uh maybe I tap the nav here. Is that gonna help? I don't think it does. I'm sure he'll tell me when to descend. I went to YTZ. Yeah, we're gonna go to YTZ after. Can you find Gateway 771 at level 360. I wanna wait like two minutes here. Gateway 771, Toronto Center, call Canada. I will watch the number for 771. Yeah, there we go. He just contacted me. Contact me at 125775. Yeah, there we go. Black fly 168. We're finally entering your airspace at 50190. Black fly 168. Toronto Center, Squawk 3137. Squawk 3137 for Black 5168. Alright. Gateway okay, 771, you're identified. So let's level look at our squawk code here. Toronto Information X ray, expect runway 24 right. Cross this is 1137. Altimeter 2994. Okay, cool. And then we'll enter that. It's in 17,000, and we'll expect 24 right for Gateway 771. Center, Je uh, this is JetBlue 2030 back with you. Uh, approach that he um, declined the flight. JetBlue 2030, catch up. That means your VFR and he doesn't want you anywhere near Pearson, so uh, you've got to go fly somewhere else, VFR. Where else would you like to go? <laughs> there's too much traffic in Pearson, that's why. They won't let you fly VFR in Pearson airspace right now. He said way too uh, much 17,500 is not a valid uh, VFR altitude in Canada, so I guess I have to go back to the States. <laughs> Go back to the States. Chapter 2030. I mean, he's technically not wrong. It's not a valid VFR altitude. Uh, it's controlled VFR up there if you need a particular clearance. But you are going to be directly through his airspace. That's too uh, I funny. recommend you turn right heading 060 for now. Um, and if we can get you on something, let me know. But for now, just turn right heading 060. Roger, right 060. Black fly, once again. Toronto Center, good evening, King Air, November 9035, Hotel here. Bravo. We're on a direct to Oakfield and we'll pass 6700 for 11000. Okay. Five Hotel Bravo, Toronto Center, welcome to my side of the Look at that, guys. Climb, slide level 230, Five Hotel Bravo. How have you been doing it? Uh, last I checked on Tuesday, I have 230 hours logged on that sim right now. So you're going to ask me to descend? I don't know where my top of the scent is, to be honest with you. And uh, Bravo, Foxtrot 168, to your identified flight level 190. London Information Bravo, expect runway 27. When ready, descend 12,000. Altimeter 2996. 
Uh, when ready, we'll descend down to one two twelve thousand for Black Five One Six Eight. Thanks. And Black Five, thanks. I completely forgot the call sign. No worries. You probably you probably rarely see this uh, airline ever fly in your space. Well, that and uh, technically you're supposed to use the three-letter code, not the two-letter code, so it doesn't show up properly for me, but that's fine. JetBlue 2030, okay, uh, There's no let's get you down code. here. Do you send to 1-1000? One, one but but uh, Air France is... To but one, Air one, one there is none. 500 VFR, um, and I'll circle, it back, circle you back in the round. Roger, send and maintain one one thousand five hundred. There is no three that are cold. And Jeffrey twenty thirty. It doesn't have it doesn't have a three that are cold. For right. It doesn't even have uh, it doesn't even arrival. have a uh, it doesn't have a two that are cold. Right for the arrival. Uh, All right, maybe we maybe we won't maybe guys we will fly. Uh, maybe we're gonna fly all the How long uh, of a flight is there to go? Um, there is twelve. Uh, there is fifteen minutes left for this flight. Guys, maybe we just can fly on Should we just fly on uh, guys? Canada, <laughs> in the ATM? Canada, because I don't know if uh, I want to do it. The rail service is terminated. Switch to the Unicom 122 Delta Lake. Good day. Alright, let's descend down to 12,000, anyways. Okay, so we're gonna start a descent down now, yeah, guys. So let's, uh, let's start that. So let's start descent down. FedEx 294, contact I don't know if I simulation as ATC. Yeah, uh, we're on the best network. FedEx uh, God of games, that's why we have ATC. Uh, so no, de by default, uh, you won't have ATC. Well, you'll have the really crappy default ATC that sucks. Um, but yeah, if you're on the Batson network, it's third party network, you will have Walker ATC. 1568, discard. I'm going to just use vertical speed because this thing sucks. Okay, so we'll put down 700 feet. Uh, we'll turn on seatbelt. We'll turn on our. Uh, whoops, that's not allowed. We'll turn on our seatbelt signs here. We'll start this. Air France 79 Heavy, back in Foxford. Air France 79 Heavy, Roger, thank you. Yeah, but Air France doesn't even. Air France doesn't have a three hour code. Oh, I guess they do. AFR, but I guess I guess North Star Air doesn't have an ITAO code. ITAO code. I'm pretty sure they don't have an ITAO code. North Star Air. Do they even have one? Air Canada, one one four, contact arrivals one three two decimal eight. Good day. They don't even have. They don't even have. A... Over to arrivals one three two decimal eight. Air Canada one one four. See ya. Jetblue twenty thirty. Recommend you turn left heading three they don't four even, zero. They don't even have he an ICAO code. 5, 000, I don't even think they have an ICAO code. Is there a turbulence? Is there turbulence map? Uh, can you just kiss me for a second? Yeah, what about it? You mean my primary flight? You mean my navigation display? What about it? India Yankee Alpha, 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 I'm looking, there's no, it doesn't seem to have an ICAO call sign. North Star Air doesn't seem to have a call sign, uh, it doesn't have a 3 hour code. I looked. Yeah, they, they have an ICAO. 2030, turn left heading 270, yeah, to okay. set 5,000. Okay. Left 270 and down to 4,000. Yeah, yeah. anyways, just the map right there, we're talking 5, to say, we'll be at 12,000 feet. Sorry, 5,000. Step to 23 good thanks. Then you can contact arrivals again, 132 decimal eight. Good day. Ah, we can probably send faster. Back to arrivals, 132 decimal eight. Thank you for that. New speech or we'll reduce speed? Gateway 771, descend 11,000. Get some speed. Alright, descend 11,000 on gateway 771. Uh, I'm gonna increase my turn, uh, my map here. We'll continue our descent down to London, Ontario. Uh, where are we on the map, guys? Uh, we'll take a look on our map here. Crossing right over Lake uh, Huron. 
how long will it take you to land? Uh, like 15, 10, 15 minutes, I think. Five Hotel Bravo, I unfortunately, Cleveland's offline. I think, I think about 10, 15 minutes. We're ready to start our descent. We're ready to start our descent. We're ready to start our descent. We're ready to start Blackfly 168, contact Toronto Terminal 119 decimal 3. Good day. Well, terminal 119 decimal 3 for Blackfly 168, thanks. Uh, 119.3. Toronto Terminal. Walker 1568, 1 ready, descend 8000, Toronto Altimeter 2994. 2 ready down to 8000, I'll do 994 for uh, Walker. Do that and then 119. Uh, so we're at terminal right now. Uh, I have to set my, uh, let me set my altimeter here. Uh, our altimeter is 2996. Whoops. 2996. Uh, and he said 1193, right? How come I don't hear anyone on the frequency? That's weird. Okay. Uh, so 10 to 15 minutes landing happens, that's correct. What do you play on PC? You won't get uh, you won't get ATC on on Xbox. Toronto Terminal. Good evening, Blackfly One Six Eight. We are at uh, thirteen thousand five hundred feet, descending down to twelve thousand feet. Blackfly One Six Eight, Toronto Center. Hello, London. This is uh, Bravo Advertising Runway Two Seven, Delta Under Two Nine Nine or Six. Roger. Information Bravo Current at London for Blackfly One Six Eight. Blackfly 168, roger, descend to 5,000. Descend to 5,000 for Blackfly 168. Alright, so we're good to go to 5,000, guys, so let's uh, plug this down to 5,000. Cool, alright. Uh, what is ATC or traffic control? At Blackfly 168, change to my frequency 135.353. One three five point three. Well, Blackfly one six eight was talk too soon. Uh, one. He said one three five point three. Okay, so enter that in. Oops. Three five. Blackfly one six eight. We're uh, on your frequency. Fly 168 Toronto Center, thank you. Uh, are you playing the RNAV 27 confirm? Uh, yep, we're playing the RNAV 27 for Fly 168. Fly 168 Roger, proceed direct to GOPEX. Direct to GOPEX for Fly 168. Uh, is landing control done on all or done manually? Uh, this is a runway that doesn't have a automatic landing, so we will be manually flying this. Uh, why do you need ATC? Uh, are ATC gamers on network? They are. Uh, we actually are direct to GOPEX right now. We'll just confirm that we're going direct to GOPEX. Uh, yes. What airline and aircraft? Uh, North Star Air and ATR-72. Are a ATC also gamers on network? They are. Um, some of them are real-life ATCs as well. Again, to be air traffic control, you have to be highly, highly trained on the network. So a lot of times, these air traffic controls are real, real controllers in real life as well. Uh, why do you need... Why you need ATC? I mean, I, I, I don't know how to answer that question. Leave a third person, uh, no, I won't be able to see what I'm doing if I live in a 3D person, right? But again, if you're, if you're, okay, so let me ask you a question. Uh, I don't know how to say your name. Are you seriously asking why you need ATC or are you just trolling? Because I, I don't know <laughs> if you're actually asking me why you need ATC and why you can't fly third person. Uh, so you need ATC just like in real life, right? Otherwise, how else are planes gonna not hit into each other, right? So ATC or is there like ATC are like traffic cops in the on the road, right? They're there to maintain, you know, your your separation, maintain your direction, maintain your navigation. Um, and then to answer your question, why not third person? Uh, because if I went on third person, I wouldn't be able to see what I'm doing. The, in the plane, so I won't know how to fly the plane, number one, and number two, it is extremely difficult to fly in third person as well. Do you use a joystick or yoke? I have both. I have both. 
So you can see right here, that's my yoke, and my joystick is like right here as well. Um, it's in front of me right now. It's mounted on my, uh, it's mounted on my desk. Have you crashed in the game? I have by accident. It does happen occasionally. Carl, Jays win. Tyler, I hate the Jays. Uh, we can, we're below our conductor pizza, we could probably turn on our taxi uh, and then if we can go. What specs are your PC? I have an i7 13. Don't like echo contact, Toronto departure now, 128 128.8 for. Uh, I have an i7 13 gen, I have an AMD 7800 XT, 60 gigabytes of VRAM. The Jays destroyed the Rays. Uh, so I I have a I have a I have a I have a um, a eight like parlay right now and it hit everything. I don't I don't I I put a bet on the Jays but I bet they would they would score two runs. I didn't know they were gonna actually win so I actually didn't bet that the Jays would win or lose but I bet that they would score two runs which they did. I also bet that L A would win, Baltimore would win, um, the Reds would win. Uh, what else did I bet on? And was I had like an eight? I have an eight like parlay right now. Uh, Colton, um, can we do Charlotte Town Halifax? Probably Monday, man. We could we could do that on Monday. Why not? A human being. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello. Can you do Los Angeles to Toronto? Uh, probably not. That's five hours. I am not down to sit for five hours. My A320 uh, NX bowlers won't work. Do you know any reasons why they might not work? Uh, what do you mean they don't work? You mean when you land they don't deploy? Are you arming them? Are you arming them though? So on the um, on the Airbus, you pull up to arm your spoilers. So are you arming your spoilers? Is that what? Is that why? Black flight one six eight five Gopex cleared London Arnav runway two seven approach. At Gopex cleared Arnav runway two seven approach for Black flight one six eight. All right, guys, um, we're gonna fly the approach right now. So again, it's a non-position. Flight one six eight, Roger at uh, Gopex. Contact London Tower one one nine decimal four. At Gopex, we'll contact Tower one one nine for Black Flight one six eight. Thanks. Okay. When I toggle spoilers, which is binded to a button on my toggle spoilers, uh, again, if you mean arm, if you mean arm spoilers, you can just honestly just manually drag it up in the virtual cockpit, right? Uh, check your bindings, but that might be the reason. Anyways, guys, we're, we're doing our approach right now into London, so it's a non-position approach, so I actually have to fly this approach properly. Uh, so right now, uh, we can take a look here on the RNAV 27 approach at GOPEX, which is right here, oh, this guy right here. We should be at uh, 3,000 feet, so we can descend down to 3,000 right now. So we'll set this to 3,000. Let's set this to 3,000 here. Cool, so we'll set that to 3,000 and we'll go vertical speed. Cool, and we'll go like that, cool. Um, okay, so at GOPEX, we'll be at, uh, at GOPEX, we should be at 3,000 feet, 210 knots, which we are. I can, uh, I'll move this back up to max. Tyler, you know I don't like the Jays. They disappoint me year after year. Ask Michael, he'll know. He'll know why I hate the Jays so much. Um, all right, so at so again, let's look at our charts here. So at Gold Pass, we should be at 3,000 feet. Then at Gold Tell, um, we turn 268 to intercept Otnap, and then we're on the uh 27 approach. Again, you can see right here at Gold Tell, we should be at 3,000. Once we get to Otnap, Otnap, we should be at 2,000 feet, and that and then a 3.2 degree uh descent rate that should bring us down. Um, our minimums are 1151. As well, so we can change that to 151. 1151. Yeah, 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 I got you. I got you. For speed, yeah, thank you. Uh, can you do Los Angeles to Florida? Uh, yeah, the other thing, the other thing is, uh, can you do Los Angeles to Florida? Again, probably not. It's way too long of a flight. Um, how much is Navigaf? It's thirteen dollars a month Canadian. Uh, yeah, my speed. There's no ma there's no managed speed mode uh, on the ATR, so I have to manually manage my speed as well. It's the J Zier. Big doubt, then. Big doubt. Big doubt for me. Uh, I've been the J's hands for tw I've been the J's hands for 20 years, and the only time they dis didn't disappoint me was 2015, 2016. Every other year has been a disappointment, and last year 
really, really. Can you do Los Angeles San Diego close? Um, if you look at my video I posted on Tuesday, we did Las Vegas to Los Angeles. Um, so if you want to watch that video, it's on my TikTok. Uh, if you're just in that, have you flown the A380? The A380 does not exist in Microsoft Flight Simulator right now. It's expected to release the end of this year, if not next year. Are you going to pack ATC online? Uh, it, they are not, unfortunately. Uh, when we get to GoPax, we contact Tower on 119. Point, sorry, what was the frequency? 119.4. We go 119.4119.4 Cool. Uh, we can zoom in a bit more here so we can see what we're looking at. Awesome. That yoke. Uh, I don't need the yoke. Uh, we'll put the yoke in after here just so I can see. You can do it again. Uh, it's my dream. Um, probably not. Do you ever fly at night? Uh, if I flew at night, Adnan, this is what it looks like. Uh, so if I changed it right now, um, if I change it to real time, I won't be able to see anything. I mean, is this interesting for you guys to watch? Right. This is the reason I don't. The reason I don't fly at night is for this reason. You can, you can barely see anything, right? You, you can you can barely see anything. Um, so it's not fun for you. It's not fun for me uh, to fly either, which is why I pulled it back. So that's why I uh, I usually say like that. You want me to keep it dark? I don't think so. Uh, again, it's not it's not interesting, right? Oh, I'm gonna saw it. Okay. I can do it again, please. Uh, maybe in the future. Uh, whoops! All the plug on. Okay, so at GoPex, um, we will contact... Like, guys, be honest. When I turned it to real time, did it look interesting for you guys to watch? And especially at small airports, you really can't see anything, right? So it's not interesting for me. Like, I, at big airspaces, I do turn on nighttime because it's actually cool. You can see something, but normally um, you won't be able to see much. Yeah, exactly. Like, it really, it, especially at these small Canadian airports, you really won't be able to see anything. This cool scenery here, yeah. Um, London Tower, good evening, Blackfly168. We just passed Gopex. We're on the RNAV27 uh, approach. And then Blackfly168, good day. Uh, your number one wins 250 at 6, clear to land runway 27. Clear to land runway 27 for Blackfly168. So it is. How do they see his daytime as well? Well, they don't. So, Scott, it's real. The only thing that matters, Scott, is the weather, which live weather is on, real time is not on. Right? So that's the, that's the only thing, right? Is that, uh, again, if I turn it on to real time, you guys won't be able to see anything. And it's really, really not that interesting when you can't see anything. So, especially at small airports. At big airports, it's worthwhile to turn on nighttime landings, but at small airports, it's not worth it. Uh, they don't care. So, again, they don't care what time of day it is in your simulator, they just care what the weather is, if that makes any sense. So the weather is, uh, the weather is live. Uh, fly a Boeing 73, so the ATC sees in nighttime, yeah, again, they don't care what they see me as, they just care what, uh, what the weather is like for me, right? Uh, fly Boeing seven three seven Super Max eight and open door halfway. Yeah, we can, we, we'll do we can do that one day. I mean, the door will probably bust itself though. All right. So what we can do is we can actually go into here. We can go into our uh, we can go into our perf data. Uh, approach mode is already selected, so that's fine. Um, at Otnup, at Otnup, we should be at two thousand feet. So this is this guy right here. Are you flying that after? We're gonna no. We're gonna we're gonna fly to Toronto City Airport. Um, in in this as well. Uh, we'll fly. Tw maybe we'll fly Toronto City Airport in Air Canada if you guys want. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna throw the landing gear down. Reduce your speed here. Again, there's no auto. Uh, there's no auto throttle in the ATR, so you have to manage your speed by yourself, which is kind of annoying. If you guys can imagine. 
to go gears down. You want, okay, we'll fly your candle. Tell you what, we'll fly, we'll fly, we'll fly jazz. How's that sound? How long will it take from Montreal to Toronto? About an hour thirty. About an hour twenty, actually. How do you descend so nightly? The autopilot's descending me so nicely. Thank you, thank you. Uh, it's not me, it's the autopilot. <laughs> Okay, so you can see the runway right here. Do Myrtle Beach to Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, we can do that. Alright, okay, you can see the runway is right here, guys. So what we'll do is we'll throw flaps full. Get ready for a landing here. Uh, where's the runway? I thought I just saw the... Can you do Toronto to Europe? We're going to do Europe to Toronto. How does it know how to descend? Because I'm setting it in the, uh, in the computer. So this computer right here... Um, manages the autopilot. So if you enter your information right properly in the computer, the flight management computer, um, it will do everything for you. Are you landing in Toronto? But how does it know? To, what do you mean? How? How? Yeah. Uh, are you landing in Toronto? We're gonna land in Toronto City Airport next. All right. Let's do our landing checklist here. Gears down. Flaps are full. Uh, there's no spoilers here. Landing lights are on. Uh, Seatbelt signs are on, so enjoy the landing, guys. I'm gonna turn on the replay here, so we can probably watch the replay as well. Yeah, no worries, man. All right, all is going off. My plane. If you see the runway right here, guys, just give me a sec. Let me land this, and then we'll chat. But you see, there's no runway. There's no uh, runway center line lights either way. So even if I turn it at night time, I wouldn't see anything. Uh, okay, approach minimums. Yep, check. See, there's... You can't even see anything on this runway. Well, a bit Minimum. off. Minimum. Landing. Minimum. Yeah, we're landing. 200. 200 feet, check. 100. Very, very sensitive. 50. 40. 30. 20. Oh, hard landing. Slammed it. All right, that's fine. Bursters out. Brakes going on. All right. Uh, black fly one sixty eight. Uh, welcome to London. Exit left one able. Stay parking. Uh, left one able. Uh, we'll take any gate um, available in terminal for black fly one sixty eight. Hi, black fly one sixty eight. Uh, for apron five. Uh, exit left. Uh, in the golf taxi golf uh, apron discretion. Uh, that was apron five taxi golf and apron discretion. For black fly one six eight. And uh, black fly one six eight. You can uh, correction uh, monitor Toronto Center one three five decimal three. One three five decimal three for black fly one six eight. Okay, hell no, you'll be listening, but uh, just in case you need to know. Roger, will do. Alright, have a good night. And any other traffic in London, London Towers can be going offline. Uh, contact uh, Toronto Center on 135.3. Cool. You can apply at Ryanair after that, thanks. <laughs> I don't, the ATR is still very sensitive to me, that's why. Uh, since the controllers pr really provide the value, do they get paid as ATC? Uh, no, they don't because VATSIM is run by volunteers. But on Pilot's Edge, which is a $20 a month subscription service, I believe the ATC on Pilot's Edge do get paid because they offer, I think, close to 24 hour service. Uh, versus VATSIM again, you heard the controller going offline. Uh, so, again, they're volunteers, so they go off whenever they feel like it. Uh, if that makes any sense. Because they're not being paid, so, if, you know, they're tired, or they don't want to control anymore, they just sign off. Uh, but on Pilot Edge, they do get paid. Uh, to ATC. Reiner Spirit Airlines, you guys are, you guys are too funny. 
I want to go into city. How much airspace? How much airspace do most of the controls handle? Uh, there's like in real life and on Vastin, there's like six levels of controller, uh, spark tech. So it depends, right? If you're if you're like apron, you only manage the parking at the ramp. If you're ground, you manage all taxiways. If you're tower, you manage all air all planes um, that are either taking off or landing. If you're on departures or arrival, you manage a very small circle airspace around. Um, and then if you're center or the close ground, you feel like you're touching on, but yeah, yeah, Lucas, I agree. Is that why I said Toronto? Uh, no, YTZ. YTZ. We'll fly your can if you guys want. We'll be. Do you guys want me to be jazz? I'll be jazz. You want me to be jazz, guys? I'll be jazz. Tell you what, we'll, we'll fly your can. We'll fly your can to jazz. Yeah, Jazz is the um, is the uh, regional arm of Air Canada. Do Myrtle Beach to Fort Lauderdale. Uh, we won't do Myrtle Beach to Fort Lauderdale tonight, unfortunately. Sorry about that, Mick. Uh, maybe some some other time when we're in Florida. I always like flying in Florida. Do Jazz, okay? Yeah, we'll do Jazz. Find AP80 Emirates. Uh, they don't have the AP80 in Microsoft Flight Center right now. Okay, we'll do Jazz. We'll do Jazz then, guys. Anyways, this is the plan we're playing right now. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep your seatbelts on. Is there a reason you want to fly your Canada? Uh, on well, because I've set the the I've set my scenery right now on like Canadian like scenery right now. To fly with us and hope to see you soon again. Do they have any Boeing? Uh, Jazz? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, again, we fly in, like again. I have add-on linker, so it depends which region of the plane I fly, uh, which region in the world I fly, I have different scenery loaded. I just happen to have my Canadian scenery loaded tonight. Jazz is a smaller plane. 757 is best. I don't think they have a 757 in my Flight Simulator as well. Uh, we'll fly the ATR, we'll fly Jazz in the ATR. How's that sound, guys? We'll do that. Um, and then I'll show you what I mean by the ATC map. So again, um, if I go here real quick, okay, so let me put my brakes on here before we park in the apron. Uh, if I just show you guys what I mean here. So if you can see, it, uh, yeah, they had the 757, but we're not gonna fly 757 today. Uh, do you have that players on? Yes, we do. Um, so as you guys can see, this is the Vastin map right now. So you can see Toronto. So to answer your question about what airspace do controllers control, the highest level of controllers, center controllers, they cover this entire region. So this is Toronto center. This guy covers. Uh, what console? I don't, man. This is on PC. Uh, this is on PC. Um, this is DC center, for example. So he covers all of this, and if I go in more, you can see this is Toronto Arrival. So this air, this green circle is what Toronto Arrival covers, and then like I said, there's ground tower, uh, there's ground tower as well. So tower covers anyone landing, taking off, and ground covers any taxiways. So that's how controllers work. Anyways, guys, um, let's uh, let's taxi to the gate here. Yeah, you can play on Xbox. You can play. You can play Microsoft Flight Simulator on Xbox, but you're not gonna get the same experience. If that makes any sense. Yeah, and, and I assume that it would graphically glitch. Very, you want, you get a very bad uh, graphical uh, experience as well. Cool. All right, guys. We'll be jazz then. For the next leg of the flight, short flight from is it hard to pick up? Um, it takes about 10 to 20 hours to learn a plane. Uh, in Vatsim, it took me about 20 hours to learn how to use Vatsim properly. So it's not hard, you just need, you need to just be patient again because Vatsim is meant to simulate real world operations. So you have to know how to manage your plane inside out, you have to know what every button on your plane does, and then you have to know what the radio phraseology is. So, uh, it's not hard, it's just, I think it's just effort. We'll, we'll do jazz. I, I think I have, I think I have an Air Canada delivery for this. What's your fly player for the next flight? Do you have live players on? Um, uh, yes, uh, Nicholas, we are, we are uh, on that sim, so yes, there are, there are real players online. That answers your question. 
what's the flight plan for your next flight? Uh, London, Ontario to Toronto City Airport. To downtown Toronto. Is VATSIM the game or are you plan myself flight simulator? VATSIM is the network. So to clarify, VATSIM is... VATSIM... Yeah. Again, because there's not that much traffic out west, so it's hard for them, right? Um, but yeah, again, we're on Microsoft Flight Simulator, but we're on the VATSIM network, so we're not on the Microsoft Flight Simulator servers, if that makes any sense. So you can choose to play Microsoft Flight Simulator offline. You can choose to play on the Microsoft Flight Simulator servers. So if you go in the settings, you can turn on live players, um, or you can choose to go on VATSIM, which is a third-party network. So. Uh, you can fly on uh, either of the three, however you wish, right? I I won't. I don't think I would ever fly on the Microsoft Flight Simulator servers. Uh, that's not that's not for me. Uh, please for what aviation? Uh, please for what? I wish there was a good dash. I agree. I 100% agree with you. I wish there was a good dash as well. Hey right, guys, well, welcome to London, Ontario. So we can cut the engines here. Cool. We deboard the plane. So ground power's on, cargo door remain, all chocks on. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome to London, Ontario. All right. Uh, I really want to fly to City Airport, and I need a turboprop to do so. So we're going to fly Jazz on the ATR. I know it's not appropriate, but again, there's no good Dash 8 on Microsoft Flight Simulator. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to use the ATR here. So why don't we spawn out? Um, and we'll spawn out and we'll spawn back in. Sounds like a plan, guys? Jazz is... I'm pretty sure Jazz is... Uh, Jazz Aviation, I'm pretty sure it's JZ8, right? Pretty sure Jazz Aviation is JZ8. It is... JZ8, cool. So we'll make a new flight here. Uh, so we'll be Jazz. Uh, we'll be Jazz 618. We'll be Jazz 618. We're departing from CYXU to C, uh, YTZ. I'm gonna turn the time back. Uh, let's go to C, uh, CYXU. Okay. Uh, we'll set the time back to like. 640. We'll set it to 640. I think I have. Yeah, I do. Okay. Air Canada Express. I don't think I have a Jazz one, but uh, we'll just go with that. Yeah, we'll just go with that. We'll just pretend we're Jazz. So we'll do that. Cool. We'll load back in. I'm just following my flight plan, guys. So just give me a second here. Um, we're going to YTZ. And we're going to. Uh, we're going to be Jazz. What did I say? We were Jazz 618. Already, uh, we're gonna find the ATR seventy two. Seventy two. Uh, ATR seventy two six hundred. Cool, and we'll fly that, uh, and we will generate the flight plan. Cool. Can you do easy jet next? Um, probably over the weekend. Jazz, Jazz is Air Canada's. Um. I love EasyJet operations. We'll probably do EasyJet. Um, I have this livery. This counts. Um, but yeah, we'll do EasyJet maybe on the weekend. I usually fly in Europe over the weekends just because the ATC uh, time zone difference uh, makes a difference here. So again, the short flight, guys. Uh, what am I? Jazz? What did I say it was? Jazz 618. Okay. Cool. I don't think we're going to have ice in here. Um, so we should be fine. Uh, what we can do is we can import our flight plan. I'm going to actually pre-file my flight plan on the network here. So let's just pre-file right now. File our flight plan. Cool. And then I'm going to go back to that sim here. We are going to be JZA618. Find the ATR. Cool. So we'll import the flight plan. We'll set our flight plan. We'll set our fuel. We'll set our payload. 
payload. We'll load our aircraft here. We'll start loading that. We'll set up our takeoff trim. We'll set our ground power, service door, tail prop, main door, cargo door. Cool. Cool. Um, Tyler, thanks for the follow. Really, really appreciate it. Indonesia, please. Uh, maybe in a bit. Maybe in a bit. Anyways, uh, guys, let's start this end. Let's start this plan up here. So what we'll do is we'll turn this on, the battery. Uh, we will turn on our external power here. We're open one fuel pump here. Can you fly to Baltimore after Toronto? Um, maybe we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. The bridge will be there. That's my thing. The bridge might be. The bridge might not be there anymore. <laughs> All right. Uh, signs. We'll arm the signs. We'll put no seatbelt signs. We'll put no devices on as well. Uh, we'll turn our turbo top brake on as well. They've already updated the scenery. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I work at YTZ and that jazz is what they need to find there. Really, Tyler? Is that is this? They don't fly. I thought Jazz had like the red. Does it not say Air Canada Jazz? I, does it say Air Canada Express or Air Canada Jazz on delivery? Now I'm so confused. Yeah, like I, it says Air Canada Express, but I guess is this the actual delivery they use? They see both. Interesting. 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 At the tip, his jazz express now on their icy blue livery as well in red. Interesting. So is the call sign? J so I guess the call sign is still jazz though, right? Is that correct? The the call sign would be jazz still, not Air Canada. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, cool. All right, let's go back to our overhead panel here. Uh, we'll turn on some dome lights here. We'll run the fuel pumps there. Why not? Um, we'll turn some cabin lighting on for you guys as well. I don't think we're going to need the icing here, but I'll, I'll probably de-ice the plane here. It's jazz because every single plane of Express has jazz on it because it's not owned by Air Canada Express. Yeah, Air Canada just operates jazz. But Jazz Aviation, I think, is a third-party contract. It's a contract, right? It's a third-party company, right? If I recall. Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard you. All right. Cool. Alrighty. Uh, so let's connect to ATC, guys. Uh, and get this party started. How does that sound? Um, I'm gonna go on this here. One one nine. I'm gonna go on one one nine point three here. Uh, one one nine point three. Whoops. One one nine point three. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll flick that to active, and then Toronto Center is on one two five seven seven five one two five seven seven five. Whoops. One two five seven seven five. Cool. All right, should we get our clearance, guys? Um, let's go. Let's go get our clearance. Uh, I'm gonna go to perf actually here. Uh, I'm gonna go to perf here. Uh, and whoops, does not hit. Confirm takeoff data. Cool. Go back to nav display here. I think it's here. No, it's not there. Uh, is it here? It's not there. There it goes. Charles, sir, good evening. Let's check 1429-123-70. How do you know what to put in a little computer on the bottom where you descend? Uh, West 1429, Toronto Center, Squawk. Practice. And you learn. I didn't uh, know, the West FMC is the most important Beautiful thing. Beautiful night. Uh, in Toronto. I would just say the uh, climb to um, one five thousand. But yeah, the, the FMC, the flight management computer, flight flight computer flight is the most important here. thing. You have to learn how to set this thing up climb properly. Uh, two, most two, of them have the exact zero, same thing. Okay. You uh, figure out what their plane one. is. So uh, pause the net. You put your flight plan in. You enter your uh, arrival information, your departure information. Is that live ATC? It is. We're gonna call him. We're gonna call him. Westjet 1429, you're identified by level 370. Toronto information, Yankee. Expect the RNAV Yankee yes, approach runway 23. It is. Uh, it is Sean, transition. and most of the when time, a lot of these people are real controllers in real life. Zero. I made a video of how to get real life ATC um, on Flight Sim last Tuesday, so if you wanna watch that video. Um, for everyone, I have Yankee for 23. I have to transition runway down to 240, Westjet 1429. I think I... Okay, 2195 turn right heading 310. 310, 2195. Uh, actually, I think we're actually going to be on Toronto Center. I think we're actually going to be on Toronto Center. Toronto Center, 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 To
there. Digital 162 Chrono 0. 0. I will buy Chrono everyone in chat, item. like, season tickets to the Jays if they go 162 0. I don't think it's gonna happen though. They're gonna disappoint me Chrono as. Chrono 420 you. identified point level 260. City information echo expect runway 26. When ready to send 6000, the altimeter 299 or 6. Roger, we'll expect uh, 26, and when ready, we'll expect it to I don't know if I'm on this frequency, though. I, I, I don't... Chronos 420, thanks, and when able to let me know uh, which you'd like. No, to there's a there. lot we need to do aviation before we... Uh... We'll go Chronos 420. Toronto Centre, Jazz 618, we're at London Airport. Are we with you for our clearance? Jazz 618, day firm, you are. Stand by for clearance. Okay, cool. So we are with him. Awesome. Okay. So I'm just waiting for my clearance right now. Uh, it's going to be the London 2 departure anyways. And they're fine on the 2-6s right now. That's cool. I think you can do OPI for me to see the island. Yeah, we could do PI. I'm thinking next Monday. Uh, cargo jet 51. Uh, I got to leave me about. I'm just waiting for a minute. clearance. It's really, really busy in Toronto right Cargo now. Cargo 51, Roger. You can switch to Unicom now. Q400, Enjoy no. the rest of the flight. Q400, no. We're flying the ATR because the Q400 doesn't exist uh, in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Cargo Jet 51, Toronto Center. Okay, Giant 332 Heavy, descend 1 1000, altimeter 2996. Copy, altimeter uh, down to 1 1000, was it for. Uh, Giant 332. Affirm. Breaker Canada 2195, descend flight level 240. 240, Canada. Did you forget about me? Uh, I'm not going to be using This is wild, so cool, yeah. Canada 150, Toronto Center. I don't have a flight plan for you. Do you mind just Let's fly into Canada from the UK. I'm doing that on April 20th. Can I be the flight attendant? Can't wait to handle some pretzels. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Did you forget? He, he probably forgot about me. That's fine. All right, they're departing off runway two seven right now, so we're gonna set our heading to two six eight here. Okay, um, and then maintain four thousand. So primary forty two eleven fly heading one nine or zero. Okay, cool. And then one nine or on zero on the heading uh, primary forty two eleven. Delta 3996, are you here? Capsule. I yes, I am. Delta 3996, climb flight level 340. Climb to flight level 340 for Delta 3996. Oh Thank my you. god. Air Canada 263, when ready to send 8000. There's no ILS. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'll send 8000, I'll send 8996, that's 263. Air Canada 2195, turn left direct Vibli, resume the star. When ready to send 8000, altimeter 2996. Okay, we stepped on you on the uh, altitude, uh, right turn direct this way, and we're going to start when they got altitude again. 8,000. 8,000, So weird. Cardinals 420, stop the descent at 1,000. Did 1, he 2, uh, forget 000. about me, guys? Uh, it's real person. Cardinals 420. Uh, yes, it's Vassim. Primary 4211, yes. turn left. It's heading. real. Two, Can I play some Xbox, uh, PlayStation? You can't. Two, four, zero, left it's a real person. Primary, Again, guys, I'll show you guys the Vastin. I'll, I'll show you the Vastin right network turn, right now. Two, four, zero. Right turn, 240, Primary, I'll show you guys right it's now. Been a long day. So we're yeah, right here. That thing here. WestJet 14, we're right here, so you can see in London right now. Um, but you can see what's active right now. So there's an ATC right now in Toronto Center. There's ATC in DC. There's ATC in anything blue right now, is what's online for ATC right now. So yeah, this is real people and not AI. Yeah. He definitely to forgot about me. Okay. Can I uh, request name for the Alright, we'll just re-ask for a clear answer. Cargo 51, switch to Unicom, 122 decimal 8, good day. One, two, two, that's my, have a good night. Yeah, he forgot about me, guys. Air Canada 150, identify flight level 350, welcome. Alright, 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 I'm gonna ask for my clearance again. It seems busy, it is. Central Isn't that going on we'll take the Toronto Center right now. Alright, I'm gonna ask for my clearance here. Chronos 420, roger, stand by one. 
Please give. Yeah, he definitely forgot. Chrono 420, can you accept the RNAV X-ray approach runway 26 via Alger? That's affirmative, got that loaded up. He definitely forgot. Chrono 420, check that, proceed direct Alger. Direct, direct Alger, Chrono 420. Alger, okay. Yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense. Excellent, okay. We'll plan you find the ATR uh, 72. Alpha Hotel Delta, Toronto Center, welcome climb, flight level 300, that'll be the final. Alright guys, um, I'm just gonna, sh I'm gonna call back my clearance, he, t he definitely forgot about me. He 100% forgot me, let me go pick up the ATIS. Let me pick up the ATIS here. Southwest 52 Charlie, contact arrivals, 132.8. ATIS right now is Alpha. <laughs> Two nine nine six, which we do have. Okay. Toronto Center, sorry, Jazz six one eight. Uh, I see the ATIS information alpha. Uh, can we get our clearance to Toronto City? Jazz six one eight. I promise I didn't forget about you, but the planes in the air take priority. Oh, no worries, no worries. Uh, thanks for Jazz six one eight. Ready to send six thousand. Down 6,000, Kronos 420. Alright, so he didn't forget about me, guys. Primary 42, so I can't do, do anything. Have Ling in the flight plan or Alright, so guys, I can't chance? do anything. I'm yeah, we swing. got you, Fennaster, and Bimbo, and Merkel. You made me look uh, bad, man. Merkel. You just yelled at me. Check, thank you. You just yelled at me. The terrible Darren. I'm kidding, man. I'm kidding. I I, I actually don't know. Right, three, three, two, he might have forgotten, one, forgotten three, about, two, he might have forgotten about me or not. No, nah, it's, it's, it's all good, 3, 3, it's all 2, good. Over, see ya. This is yelling in, in Canadian, like, this is Canadian's yelling. Trust me, people, right, people right, get right, way right, more, more mad in the UK, like, UK controls you have zero patience, American controllers not right as much, but Canadian control, this, is, this is Canadian controllers yelling. This is the equivalent of Canadian controllers yelling, because they're nice people. We're nice people, right? And they're not gonna, like, when you go to the UK, they will actually go off on you. If you if you go if you go into the if you go to the UK they they will actually yell at you, like actually go off on you, and they they might just call a supervisor and kick you off the network to be honest with you. But either way, um, while we wait for our clearance, guys, we can set up the rest of the plane here. Um, so we'll finish up the plane here. Is the game hard to learn? Uh, it takes clear 15, 16, it takes clear about Sudbury 20 Island, hours to learn how to talk on the radio, um, and it takes about 10 to 20 hours for me to learn each plane. Because to find Vassim, you have to know what every button in your plane does, basically. So, I mean, is it hard? No, I just think it takes patience to learn. It's just like in real life. Uh, okay. Air Canada 263, I'm showing you slowing down here. I need you to keep the speed up. Uh, speed three one zero. He's gonna anyways. He's gonna give me runway two seven departure. Uh, speed three one zero. Uh, on the on the on the London two departure. Second two sixty three. Thanks. Then, then to reach uh, ten thousand. Um, reduced to two five. At YTZ, five, so. he's gonna give me the. Oh, we'll uh, go departure. At YTZ, he's gonna give me the. I'm at forty two eleven. Contact arrival one three two decimal eight. Arrival algo transition. I think that's how I'm gonna apply this. Anyways, that would seem to be 32 eight for a primary 4211 uh, heavy. Uh, thanks for that service. Uh, uh, great job. No we'll see you next time. Sorry for the trouble. No, don't worry. You were no trouble at all. Uh, air for cool. I guess he, okay. I mean, again, guys, sorry. Currently, sorry. we want to get in the air as soon as possible, but. Uh, 7 for a final 230. Air for cool 495 heavy Toronto Center. Good. Day, climb, level three, five, I'm honestly set up for everything I'm too as well. Three, five, to be fair. Zero. Like I'm pretty uh, set uh, for, for everything five. here. Uh, our cruise today is gonna be seventeen thousand feet. Okay. Uh, cruise altitude is seventeen thousand, and we'll send alternate altitude of fifteen thousand feet. Cool. Um, and then we'll go here. We'll go here. Don't need to worry about that right now. Um, and the altimeter in. City Airport right now is a uh, two nine nine six as well. Cool. Okay. ATC guy is actually so nice. Yeah, he's this is <laughs> what he said to me. It's a game on Steam. It is, but I would recommend getting off the Microsoft Store because I heard Steam installations get kind of glitchy. 
Westchester 1429, contact arrivals 132. Guys, I'm sorry it's taking so long. Order of the day, um, Westchester 1429. But yeah. So fly after, maybe. We'll see. Depends how long it takes me to get my clearance. Let's put it this way, guys. Depends how long it takes me to get my clearance. I, we'll see. Microsoft Flight Simulator. Second at 810, unfortunately, Montreal's offline. Surveillance services is terminated. Switch to it's just Microsoft Flight Simulator, Noah. Good day. Microsoft Flight Simulator 23. Switch to the small 810, Thanks for your service. Why is your door open? The cargo. I guess the cargo's down. Alpha Hotel Delta, Toronto Information Yankee. Expect ILS cargo, approach guess. runway 23. Why are you in HR, right eight, eight, a, Air Canada HR? Zero. Because there's no dash Q400 uh, 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 in Microsoft Flight Simulator and we're flying to City Airport. So I do need a turbo prop. Sure, thank you. I need a turbo prop to get into... Um, to get into city airport, so that's why. Uh, Pearson right now is. Corner 421, ready to. I'll show you guys what Pearson looks like, but Pearson is an absolute mess right now. Down to 2000. Pearson, Pearson actually looks worse. Uh, so that's why I sort of want to avoid the traffic right now. Jazz 618, thanks for the patience. I have your clearance. Ready to copy. Ready to copy. Appreciate it. Thanks for Jazz 618. Jazz 618, you're cleared to city center via the London 2 departure. Flight planned route. Depart runway 27, squawk 6372. Clear to uh, Toronto City on the London 2 departure. Expect departure runway 27, squawking 6372 for Jazz 618. And again, thank you so much. I know you're super busy on the frequency tonight, so appreciate it. Jazz 618, uh, no worries. Don't need to thank me. I'm here to help. Uh, just confirm the squawk code 6372. 6372. 6372 squawking for Jazz 618. Jazz 618, thanks. Three back, correct. Push and start at your discretion. Call for taxi. Oh, sorry, 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 discussion will call you for taxi, Jazz 618. All right, uh, what does squawk mean? Transponder code. Maybe, so, what, when ATC, what ATC sees on the radar is they see, what ATC sees on the, uh, on the radar is my squawk code. Um, so 6372, that code is what's going to identify myself on the frequency, uh, or on the radar for ATC. So that's what that is. Air Canada 160, Toronto Information Yankee. Expect the RNAV Yankee approach cool. runway 23 via. So we'll turn our transponder on. Cool. When ready, down to 280, and, we're, we're not we're able we're for an RNC yeah. for Canada yeah. 150. Canada 150. All right, guys. So we've got our clearance, and we're honestly set up on the plane too. Uh, so we can honestly just push this baby back here. Um, let me just uh, grab a quick drink of water, guys, and then we will that, push uh, back. How does sound, guys? Are you about to fire him? Uh, no, why would I want to fire him? This guy's awesome. Uh, he's saying expect from way 27, so we'll push back like this. And we'll hit enter. Hello, uh, departure is a FedEx 247, uh, climbing 7,500. He sounds rich as Canadians, yeah. 000, uh, hey guys, you can see our pushback. Look how cute this guy is. See how cute this guy is? Climb level 320, FedEx 27, heavy. You see that, guys? This is our this is our tug right now. Anyways, guys, give me thirty seconds here, and then we're gonna push back. Sounds like a plan. Let me just uh, give me thirty seconds, guys. I'll be right back. I promise you, guys. I'm just gonna grab a quick drink of water here. And Toronto Center Delta Twenty Five Forty Seven is with you. Checking in. Flight level three three zero. Delta Twenty Five Forty Seven Toronto Center. Squawk it in. Squawk it in for Delta Twenty Five Forty Seven. Delta 2547, you're identified, flight level 330, welcome. Air Canada 263, contact arrivals 132 decimal 8, good day. Alpha long 132 decimal 8, down to the street. Alpha Hotel Delta, one ready to send 8000, altimeter 2996. 4, Alrighty, guys. Approach, I'm back. I told you. I told you. I'll take 20 transition. seconds. Cool. Alright, guys. Should we, put, uh, should we push back? Let's push back, guys. Transition or should we do a shot? Yeah. Are you going to stay in front of the op for the London flight? Uh, you, uh, we're in London, Ontario, Victor. Just to clarify. <laughs> so, yes. Because it's like a 30 minute flight. <laughs> it's, like a thir it's a 30 minute flight to. Uh, all right, cool. So what we'll do is we'll start engine number two. So we're gonna just look here, guys. 
waiting for this to go to 17.5% and then we can uh, put some fuel into this put our 17.5% cool so what we can do is we can do that uh, we'll click this to feather it, what is the flight to be sure London Ontario to Toronto City isn't the Kitchener flight from Toronto a minute no it's like 20 minutes because it takes time to it takes time to climb and stuff right all right, Sean. Thanks for the follow. Really appreciate. It. I know you've been here a lot, Sean. So really, really appreciate. It. Yep. All right, cool. So we'll turn on our nav, nav lights. Beacon lights are going on. Logo is going on. Wing is going on as well. Uh, we can. Okay. Also, this to auto. I'm gonna go up here. Turn this off. We will hit our hydraulics right here. Okay, and then disarm the. We hear the engine running right now. Yeah. This thing always. Yeah, this thing never wants to work. Okay. Um, I want to turn this on here too, just to cheat it. Air Canada 2195, contact arrivals 132 decimal 8. Good day. Disconnect. 833, city arrivals, good day. So the engine's running right now in hotel mode. I hate when this glitch happens. This, this thing bugs out every other flight for real, guys. Oh boy. I'm just trying to unlink my prop brake here so we can get the engine started here. You can hear the engine running though, right? Cool, so we'll do that. Put that there. Okay. Come on! Sorry guys, this, this thing bugs out every other time. I, I'm literally trying to push back as soon. Toronto Center, friends at 122, passing 10,800. Is the cute guy still pushing you back? Yeah, this guy's still here. Center, welcome, Sorry guys, I'm just trying to figure out this. Um, Flight level 390, friends at This thing bugs out every other time. Probably just a cheat. Let's do that there. Sorry, give me a sec, guys. Don't you need to shut your doors? Uh, it won't. It that doesn't matter. Um, I hate when this happens, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, let's try this one more time. Doris, welcome to the stream. Sorry, guys. Um. You can hear that. You can hear the. You can hear the engines running. My prop brakes aren't off. You know what I'm gonna do from now on. To be uh, to be honest with you guys, from now on, I honestly might never disconnect my prop brake because it's gonna bug out. Yeah, I honestly might never just disconnect my prop brake because it always likes to do this. Yeah. See it. This prop brake right here. It says it's ready to disconnect. Uh, but it's not disconnecting, and it drives me nuts. This thing bugs out every other time, man. Every other time. It's crazy. Air Canada 150, descend 1-1000, one, one altimeter 2996. Okay. Canada 1-1000, Air Canada 150. Come on, disconnect the prop brake. Colonel 420, the Toronto City wind 290 at 13. Clear to land, runway 26. I don't know why it's doing this, guys. Sorry, give me a sec. This is uh, what the lays are called, right? Uh, this is what the lays are all about. It should disconnect. I don't understand why it's not disconnecting, though. 
I'm never turning off the pop breaks off this thing ever again. For what it's worth, guys. Oh, so it doesn't connect. Would you need to start over? Um, uh, maybe, Darren, but I'm not going to. Um, it, it'll, it'll work. It'll work. I wonder if maybe I maybe I do this. Let's, let's do this, guys. Maybe let's just run engine. Maybe let's run. Let's run engine number. Uh, Whoops. Whoops. No. Okay. Pull this up there. Cool. Ooh, it did something. Nope. Still the same thing. We're literally ready to Alerted push back. It's just this thing. Switch back to the combat to two decimal eight. Thanks for flying. Come on. Disconnect it. Unlink. FedEx 247, unfortunately, Cleveland's offline. Surveillance service is terminated. Switch to Unicom 122 decimal 8. Unlink. Right, Unicom, thanks for service. Oh God, this Thank thing you. happens every other time. I'm sorry, guys. Give me a sec here. This thing. This thing and Toronto, to start, really yeah, Toronto Center, uh, Twin Star Charlie Golf X Race Uniform. Uh, we're in line with Alpha. Looking for a Pearson. Uh, we've been evacuated. Golf X Race Uniform, Toronto Center, good day. You're cleared to Pearson via the London 2 departure flight plan. Rift. Depart runway 27, squawk 1362. I'm gonna throw it to auto here. I created a person on a two, flight plan road, runway 27, squawk 1362, uh, X-ray uniform. X-ray Sierra uniform, you're uh, correct, start up your discretion, call for taxi. Yeah, taxi, second. Guys, what is going on here? X-ray Sierra uniform, sorry, say again, you're ready now, or taxi in a second? Uh, we'll talk to you in a second about that. <laughs> okay, check. Halifax, been to Halifax. We'll do, we'll Toronto do that short time. Go to Georgia, A-04, heavy, uh, 10,000, for one flight south. Uh, Hydro well, yeah, I have the AC well power on right now, but the hydraulics are working. It's just, it is, it's just like a known, it's a known uh, bug. Three zero zero, there any chance that we could amend that to three two zero made a snappy on the filing? It should turn, it should turn itself off. Skyjord, three zero four, climb level three two zero. Three two zero, Skyjord, three two four, thanks. I'm all set up too. So, I mean, worst case, I. Worst case, I just restart the sim. To be honest with you, I might have to do that. I'm gonna give it like um, two more minutes here, and then if it doesn't work, I'm just gonna restart it, guys. Sorry. This is really frustrating. Um, I'm just not gonna turn off the hydraulic, uh, the pop brake, because it it does this every, it does this literally. Yeah, it's 1576 every with you at flight level three five zero. You know, it's 1576 front and center. Because it should just unlink. Need pressure disconnect pop break. Look for electrical under power lever. You know, it's 1576. If you mean this, uh, if you mean this hydraulic auxiliary uh, pump, the I've been RNAV pressing Yankee this thing all the time. The uh, Tasku, when ready, the sensor level. Need pressure. Yeah, I've been pressing zero. the auxiliary pump. It just—it's a known bug. It's a known bug with the ATR. That's the issue. It drives me nuts. Like. It doesn't disconnect. You see, it doesn't. Sorry, you're it. breaking up there for a second. Could you repeat that a bit slowly? United 1576, expect RNAV Yankee approach, yeah. runway 23. It's a, it's, a known, it's a known bug with the ATR, unfortunately. Like, I'm pressed, like, I'm ma you see this, guys? I'm mass pressing this button right here. You see that? I'm mass pressing it, and it's just, it's not disconnecting. It's really annoying. Um, probably not. He's so busy, so probably not. Um, I'm tempted to turn Alpha this to full and dark, to be honest with you. I'm tempted to, to, to turn this to full and dark. Okay, you know what, what guys, let's do this, let's do this. Alright. I'm gonna go to full and dark here. Uh, did you catch all that? I'm gonna go dark here. Yeah, uh, the sun is like level 240 ready when ready. Okay. And for the ILS 23, didn't catch see. that star from you. I'm gonna pull these back. Okay, let's go. This, we tried you know, this, I just put it in the frequency chat for you there. It's not the ILS approach. It's the RNAV Yankee approach. Tasku transition for runway 23. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for United 1576. It's been like years, yeah. Passengers picking up. Yeah. Well, I mean, plane so out. Center, no, no, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm hopeful that it's Okay, there we go. Nolan North 422, Toronto Center, climb flight level 310. Climb flight level 310. See, I, I, I cheated. 
I cheated. There was a button that just me change the different modes from cold and dark. Um, so I cheated. Nobody saw that though. We're good though. We're good. We're good. Enter to our uniform, runway 27, the London wind 310 at 5, I'll take their 2-9 just double check that everything is correct here. Alpha, cross runway 15. Yep, everything's correct no, here. Alpha, cross 15, and we'll uh, we call you short exit here. I didn't do anything, I promise you I didn't, I didn't do anything there. Uh, I just cheated the system, because I just restarted, I just kind of did a soft restart of the sim. Cool. Alright, we're ready to taxi guys, uh, we're ready to push back guys, so uh, why don't we get started here. Air Canada 150, contact arrivals 132, decimal 8, good at 328, Air Canada 150, good. Cool. So do that, we'll turn TRU is going on as well. Uh, no air messages. So you guys can see on my ECAM, uh, no air messages on my ECAM. Cool. Wonderful. Alright, so guys, we're ready to push back, guys. So let's, uh, let's get started here. So we'll turn on beacon light. Beacon light is good. Uh, everything else should be set here. Yeah, we'll close that. That's fine. Uh, we will disconnect the ground power here. Great. Uh, when do you leave for Toronto now? We're pushing back right now. Uh, is my guy still here? My guy's still here. All right, guys. Let's push back here. Let's get out. Let's get out. Sorry about that. Sorry about that hold, guys. Welcome aboard Air Canada. Bienvenue à bord Air Canada. For your safety and comfort, we ask that you pay attention to this short video. So United 1576, here, Roger. You probably have. Uh, he needs the cigarette after that way. No, he has to push us back that, first. Or and then he can have a cigarette. Or unable to earn it, thank you, and that's fine as well. In that case, you can expect the ILS approach from way 23. And we'll find a real plane when we need to know Jesus. Please place baggage in the inside bed or under the seat in front of you. Veuillez ranger vos bagages dans le coffre supérieur ou sous le siège devant vous. In preparation for uh, do you know planes can Make reverse, sure right? Yes, seated. they can, but they reverse seen out of planes in the first class is an extreme waste of fuel. And it's extremely not to do so. So that's siège. why they push back. Because it, just, it's not, it doesn't make economical sense to waste fuel and push them back. You must wear your seatbelt when the seatbelt sign has been turned on. And we suggest wearing it even when the All sign right. is turned off. It's at that 122 heavy. I'm going to be closing up here momentarily. Montreal is offline. We suggest that the seatbelt is turned off. Fasten your seatbelt by adjusting it around your hips. To release it, lift the upper portion or press on the release button. Attaché votre ceinture de sécurité. To release it, lift the upper portion or press on the release button. Attachez votre ceinture et ajustez-la autour de vos hanches. Pour la détacher, soulevez la partie supérieure de la boucle ou appuyez sur le bouton de dégagement. The safe is closing up. The major fuel Deep levels, yes. Uh, uh, I'm going to pick up here from the rear barn. You can monitor Unicom 122.8, London wind 
Thank you for your controlling if services. I'll switch to one to two decimal line. Have a great day. I apologize. It's been over three hours for me in that event. It's always great to be every week, so I do have to follow here. No, I understand. Have a great night, man. Me too. Have a good one. Attention, any other aircraft on this frequency, Toronto Center is now closed. Anyone on this there frequency, are four exits Unicom, located on each side of the aircraft. Okay. All Continue. of these are indicated by a green <laughs> exit sign. Please locate the one nearest right. you. Il y a quatre issues de secours de chaque côté de l'avion. Chacune d'elles est indiquée par une enseigne. Veuillez repérer celle qui est la plus près de vous. If the cabin pressure changes, an oxygen mask or a tab will drop from the panel above you. Remain seated. Pull the mask or the tab to bring the mask towards you. Use the support strap to hold the mask over your mouth and nose and breathe normally. Always secure your own mask before assisting another person. Si la pression de la cabine change, un masque à oxygène ou une languette tombera du panneau au-dessus de vous. Restez assis, tirez le masque ou la languette pour amener le masque vers vous. Utilisez la bande élastique pour maintenir le masque sur votre nez et votre bouche et respirez normalement. Mettez toujours votre masque avant d'aider quelqu'un. Airports London, uh, London, Ontario, City. If there is an emergency landing on water, reach for the pouch under the seat or I'll beside your leg rest. Like... Remove the elastic band if required. En cas d'amérissage d'urgence, prenez la pochette de gilet de sauvetage sous le siège ou près du repose-jambe. Retirez la bande élastique au besoin. Pull out the life vest from the pouch. Slip it on, fasten the waist clip, and tighten the belt. Pulling the tab will inflate the life vest. You can also inflate it by blowing into the tube. Right. The life vest should only be inflated as you leave the aircraft. Uh, Billy. Sortez le gilet de la pochette Billy et enfilez-le. Attachez la boucle de taille et ajustez la ceinture. Pour le gonfler, tirez la languette ou encore soufflez dans le tube. Ne gonflez votre gilet qu'au moment de quitter l'avion. You get to see downtown Toronto scenery, guys. If you need any assistance or have any concerns, please let one of us know. Si vous avez une inquiétude ou besoin d'aide, Thank you for choosing to fly with Air Canada. Merci d'avoir choisi Air Canada. Cool. All right, guys. Uh, is it worth it, plane guy? When was the Asia flights? Tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. I'm gonna go to Asia at 7. I'm gonna go to Asia um, tomorrow morning at 7:30. How, how oh, I'm gonna fly in Asia. How good are the systems and functionality? Um, so plane guy, there are bugs in the ATR. So the ATR is the only purple prop that actually is worth buying in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So I'll say that. Um, so I, I, I will say that. Um, it is the only turbo prop that's available and it's pretty good. It has its bugs as you guys saw on my departure. I had bugs. Can you fly to Montebago Bay, Jamaica? Uh, maybe in the summertime, man. Uh, not tonight, unfortunately. It's a, it's a, it's like a four and a half hour flight to Jamaica. Um, but yeah. Anyways, um, do you study aviation? No. Uh, so anyways, what I'll say, plane guys, it's it's a good study level aircraft, it has its bugs, but again, it's the only turboprop option you have, basically, in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, GD, uh, GD, because I don't want to stay on my computer for 8 hours, that's the reason why. Can we see your control setup at home? Uh, sure, you can see it. Oops, I think it's here, actually. I, I want to say that the runway is here. Is it here? No, it's not. Uh, it's the 730 Max, a good plane. I always had issues with it. Uh, there's a 737 Max in Microsoft Flight Simulator, but it's complete garbage. So I don't recommend it. Can you see your setup, control stuff at home? Yeah, I'll make a video on that. You guys have been begging me to, to do that. Come to a Curtis stand. Yeah, we can do that. Hey, Darwin. Welcome, welcome. What's 737? Uh, I have the PMDG. I have the PMDG 737. Uh, Nathan, we are flying from London, Ontario to Toronto City Airport right now. Oh, there, hold on, hold on a sec. Hold on, ATC just went online here. 125775, we're back, boys. Hold on. 
different guy. Toronto Center, hello. Um, Jazz 618, we're at London, taxiing to runway 27 with information alpha on the old days. Okay, yeah, last one on clock, Jazz uh, 618, stand by. Okay. Show me the outside of the plane, sure. How long is uh, London? No, we're not flying to YYC, we're flying to YTZ. Show me the outside plane, sure. Let's the outside plane. Uh, is it 737-800? Uh, the 737 800, 900, 600 are the second best planes uh, to the okay, Phoenix. Okay, I'm going to go to my center. Hello, I see squawking standby for the squad mode trolley. So please. the Phoenix A320 is the best study level aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator, followed by the PMD 737. So highly, highly recommend it. Uh, it's the best Boeing. Passing 1,600. Going to Boeing 737 Dreamliner, um, we're going to fly the Dreamliner from London Heathrow to Toronto Pearson uh, on April 20th. Uh, Mac, thanks for the follow, really appreciate it, man. So I'm wing 762, Toronto Center. Hello, Find me, yeah, I'll it. make a video on it. Do you know where is... For the stand, I'm gonna guess somewhere uh, in in Asia. I'm gonna guess. I'm assuming Western Asia. Oh no, Mogo, Toronto Center. Hello, you identified. Turn right, direct to luck on course. Climb flight level three seven. Are you fine after this? We'll see, Nathan. We'll see. Uh, we've been super delayed here. Uh, yeah, someone on YouTube is asking me where Kurdistan is. I'm guessing it's in the Middle East slash Western, Western Asia. It's not even a country. That's the to luck. Oh no, Mogo. I can't hear. I can't see this one. So I'm going to identify, climb step, flight level 310, continue on course, direct vertical. Continue on course, the same direct vertical request final cruise altitude 250, please, something 762. And Jazz618, uh, calling from London, uh, CA request. Uh, we're taxiing to runway 27, uh, we'll take off, we'll be uh, holding short for takeoff. Sunwing 762, just to confirm, did you copy requested final cruise? Oh my god, where am I? Hey, from climb level 3... Where am I? Oh my god, guys, where am I? Oh yeah, no, no I'm, at the I'm at the wrong, I'm at the wrong, Correction to my flight plan, request yeah, final yeah, cruise altitude, flight level 250, Sunwing 762. Okay, I'm gonna watch Okay, 762, okay, climb for level 250, final. Climb for level 250, final, Sunwing 762. Uh, where are you flying in Asia? I'm gonna fly Beijing to Shanghai and then do the return flight. How was the last flight? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. Uh, Jazz 618, we're holding short runway 27 right now in London. Jazz 618, that's what you call me airborne. London went through on 05 to take off on way 27. We'll call you when airborne. Clear to take off on way 27 for Jazz 618. North of Iraq. Yeah, that seems about right. Alright, guys, we're clear to take off, guys. So, stay with cockpit. You guys know the rule. No, no, four two two. I look like you're not gonna be an issue for me anymore. So you can just kind of see monitoring to come on two two. That's my idea. Hey, well, I'm kidding. I look in the top. Thank you so much. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I have yeah. it. I think you'll push that in. That. Toronto Center, United 1576 at 9,000 feet, descending 3,000. United 1576, Toronto Center at uh, Squawk Adapt. Oh my god, this thing is just, like pushing me. I don't know why it's pushing me here. Anyways, do not. Squawk Adapt, 1576. V1, rotate. Nice. Now 1576, Toronto arrivals. Hello, information, Zulu's current altimeter is 2996. Expect the for right. This is uh, 3000. I was uh, set up by the uh, previous Toronto Center for 24, or sorry, for 23 ILS uh, approach. Do you want me to switch back to 24? 
Uh, United Fifty Seven Six Seven Nine. Actually, you can go back to two three after you go down to the south. That's why I was wondering if we're going to go two four. But yes, expect one way two three. Yeah, I'll go to you to two three. All right, expect runway two three for the IOS approach. Uh, descend three thousand feet. United United uh, Fifteen Seventy Six. Uh, we'll find nav mode. We'll find nav mode and we'll find the nav mode. Jazz 618, we are airborne uh, right now at uh, Passy 2000 feet. Jazz 618, uh, Toronto Center identified, turn uh, right direct to direct on course, climb 17000. The city altimeter is 2996. Direct to return on course for Jazz 618. Alrighty, cool, so we are... Okay, Toronto Center, good day, uh, Twin Star Charlie Gulf X-ray is here from with you, uh, about, uh, 15 northeast to London, 7,000. Uh, I'm gonna send my crews out to... Uh, 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 uniform, Toronto Center, I'll go that. Uh, we're at anything, X-ray uniform. Is it directed to your office? X-ray uniform, identified 7,000, 2,000, 2,996, information, you lose current, expect only 2,3. Uh, so, I don't know where to drop my friends. Oh, I did that again. Okay. Uh. Onto the center, Air Canada 1550, currently at 2400, climbing for 5000. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna leave. Air Canada 1550, to Toronto Center identified after 3600, turn right there, right? Alright, cool, so I'll put course. this in climb mode. Climb, uh, server, flight level 230. Oh. Flight level 230 and kill them on course after 3000, Air Canada 1550. We have a hard landing, last time I'm alive, yeah. You never to see w YVO, if we have an issue, we'll divert to see YVO. Uh... I, I, I mean, he said go Jarot on course. I don't want to mess with it, that's the problem, guys. I don't, I really, really don't want to mess with my flight plan right now. Trying to send our United 1576. He's right here. I'm gonna go direct to Caxel. Um... United 1576, I guess? Uh, we're reporting ice at 6,000 feet above uh, Waypoint Marrowed. Let's do this. Okay, yeah, uh, United 56, we'll check that thing. And then we'll go Caxel. Go, we'll do this, let's do this. Durot, Caxel, and then I can clear this Caxel, go direct to Durot. Cool. Let's do that. Wonderful. Alright, guys. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Not much of an issue, guys. We're good. We're climbing this thing. And uh, Toronto Center Golf X Ray is here from. We're getting an uh, unsafe gear indication. Can we get the published hold at Newburgh just to sort this out? Literally 35 minutes, guys. Hey, this year, no, I've been holding new bro, I published uh, one mile like this. How are you climbing 17,000 feet? Which is nothing. Alright, we'll do the published total mile like six or seven. Uh, we'll check the ATIS in six. Thank you, you're going to come with this and they'll probably pour it at 6,000. This is what they'll advise you for you. Alright, Roger, we'll uh, turn TKS on them. 299 or 6. I still, I, yeah, I think it's a, uh, we'll take a look at our charts, guys, so we'll take a look at how we're flying. We'll see how we're flying this route here. Okay, cool. So we are expecting this right now. So how we're going to fly this is we're going to go, uh, Durot. Um, oh, I'm going to stream like 8 a.m. I'm going to stream 8 to 9 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna do a flight from. I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna do the one-way flight from 7 a.m. to like 9 a.m. I'm record. I'm gonna record my next video for like for TikTok. Um, but we'll stream. Another 1576 on left heading for you. Yeah. 8 8 a.m. Eastern time. Yeah. 8 a.m. Eastern. Repeat heading for United 1576. Same with Durot. Taxi. Uh, 1576. Turn left heading 330. Vip 3. 330 for United 1576. Graphics. We can actually see that it's accurate. 
larder. Uh, we can actually, da, 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 let's just see here. Here's that. Al Gore. Taxel, hold on a sec, what is this? Um, it's gonna be Durot, Taxel, where's Al Gore? I swear I saw Al Gore somewhere. Because I didn't see Al Gore. Toronto Air Transit 483 I guess I didn't see Al Gore anywhere. I thought I saw Al Gore somewhere. Optar, where's Al Gore? Center identified. After 3,600, okay, we'll turn left to Rex Savo on course. Climb flatable 350. Climb flatable 350. What time are you streaming at Central Time? Like 7 a.m. Central Time. And now you're an hour behind me. Um, okay. Hey Canada, 1550. Larder, Climb flatable 340. Larder, Al Gore, Climb flatable 340, right Canada, 1550. Optor Manual. Discontinuity here, no wonder why. Okay. Let's get rid of the, let's get rid of that discontinuity as well. So let's get rid of that discontinuity. So Optor Alcor Vifri Rabix Index, that's correct. Awesome, so that's our reply plan done. Hey Carl, hey Kitchen Wonders, welcome, welcome to the stream. We are uh, yeah, we're still this thing climbs so slow. This thing is a nightmare. Um, we'll see, guys. Again, um, I'm gonna stream. I'm gonna I'm gonna stream in Asia tomorrow. I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do the flight from Beijing to Shanghai um, on on Vatsim, but I won't stream it because it's extremely complicated to fly in China. Uh, so I'm gonna do that offline, and then on the return flight from Shanghai to uh, Beijing, I will probably I'll, I'll probably stream that. We'll see how things go. I want to tell you, uh, on the 8th, I got my OTS in Halifax. Very cool. Very cool. Congrats, man. Congrats. I gotta fly... I gotta fly over there. And will you control me in Halifax then? Monk the Mondays, right? Are you gonna be on a Monk, Monk the Mondays next Monday? We'll do it. Chat wants me to fly from Char Charlottetown to Halifax. If you want to fly, please do. The following Monday, I will be on my approach. United 1576, turn left, heading 270, to clear the Alex Porsche 2423. Turn left, Sounds heading good, 270, yeah. intercept the uh, ILS for runway 23 for United 1576. Get James. Uh, how come James never controls anymore? Get James on too. This one that control Halifax terminal, but it won't be my OTS next will be. Why should you get you to fly in China? Uh, because China is one of like five countries in the world that still use meters. They use the metric system uh, for aviation. So they will everything that you hear on the radio in China is in meters, but they expect you to fly in feet. So it gets very, very confusing very fast. So uh, that's the first issue with flying in China. And issue number two is going to be the same amount of planes tomorrow on the ground. Um, and so that's going to be a pain for me to deal with. So, but, but primarily, again, China flies in meters. And again, you can imagine that every plane built outside of China uh, flies in feet. So it's very, very confusing <laughs> when I fly. So I'm gonna have to remember, every time I say something, I gotta say, you know, climb to 8,000 meters, for example. We're not gonna say, you know, like, or flight level, I guess, flight level 110. If, if ATC tomorrow tells me climb to flight level 110, they need 110 meters, right? Which, not, not in feet. So it's very, very confusing. Junior's is actually working on his approach too. He's behind me a bit, though. Yeah, but they use QNH. They do. They do use QNH. Uh, everywhere in the world, except for, I believe, Russia, China, and I think there's like uh, North Korea. So it's Russia, China, North Korea, and I think there's two other countries in the world that fly um, uh, in meters. Everywhere else in the world flies in feet. Uh, the QNH is different, obviously. Uh, QNH in Europe de depends um, where you fly. For example, in um, the UK, generally 6,000 feet uh, is your transition level and altitude. In Amsterdam, it's like 4,000 feet. Uh, in China tomorrow, it's going to be 3,000 Please, your uniform, uh, you can give me a shot whenever, whenever you're ready to cancel the hold. I don't know, Mick. It's so confusing. It's so confusing. The plane will fly in feet, but they expect you to to read back in meters. So you have to do a conversion from meters to feet all the time uh, when you're flying in China. It's extremely, extremely convoluted. 
a hundred percent. Uh, do YQB to YL? Yeah, eventually. All right, we can look at our. This is your uniform. Uh, you want to cancel the hold? We can look at our. Oh, there's so much planes. Uh, and, there's so many planes in Houston right now that they're having longer. to uh, fly holds. Okay, so you see your uniform. Can express for the current at zero two zero five zero. Of course, at zero two one five zero. Okay. Time for the zero two one five. We'll look at our charts <laughs> here. The localizer two eight. Uh, straight in is seven hundred twenty. So we can go here and set it for seven. Nine fifty seven six contact tower one eight that's more seven two. One eight seven for United fifteen seventy six. Have a good night. Seven twenty, okay, cool. Um and this doesn't have a localizer frequency. It does have a localizer frequency. Very cool. Alright, alright, so we have a we do have a localizer here tonight. Uh it will be on one one zero point one five. I don't think I've ever flown this approach, to be honest. I don't think I've flown a, local, a localized approach. And the final approach course is going to be uh, 265. So let's just plug this in here real quick. Uh, 265. Very cool. Okay, I've never actually flown a localizer. Uh, like a hey, I sent our golf extra here for 265. So let's just plug this into 65 here. This is your uniform, okay, so continue, uh, oh, my new video, heading, I will. Sorry, that's heading. Uh, sorry, no, we're gonna need to turn back around to London. Okay, and then I can proceed to, like, walk through, uh, the continuous of on the stuff, do I will. Uh, so this is assuming someone's 60, ready for the shunt. 7762, I'm ready to send flight level all questions. We're ready to send 15,000. Cool. I'm ready to send it to the whole one. Alright, cool. I'll see it's 15,000. Um, CRJ900, yes, I have the CRJ900. Do you enjoy playing this passenger? 7762, the Ottawa I'll put a 29. Unless I'm flying them. 2991. Uh, what time are you flying to straight away to? Where are you flying to straight away? Um, again, I don't know. Um, Aviation Vento, Tantra Caution, I don't know. I'm gonna record, I'm gonna be, I will be flying at 7 a.m. in the morning tomorrow from Beijing to Shanghai for a video that I'm recording. So I will be flying that online on VATSIM, but I will be streaming the Beijing to Shanghai leg. The return flight from Shanghai to Beijing, I will probably stream that. Um, again, I just need I need to get my bearings in Asia because it's a whole other beast to fly in Asia. So I kind of just want to make sure I know what I'm doing one way before I stream it the second way around. And the flight time is two hours with the traffic on the ground. It's going to be about a three-hour stream to World Again, Again, uh, I'm aiming to start streaming around 9 a.m. Eastern Time, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. It really depends on when the plane, uh, when I get in on my return flight. Tomorrow morning, yeah. Tomorrow morning again because they're 12 hours ahead of me, right? So it's night time for them. It's morning for me, which is why, and it's a long weekend, so that's why I'm an opportunity to fly in Asia. I usually don't get to fly in Asia because of the time zone differences. You have Good Friday off? Yep, that is correct. We have Good Friday off. I'm probably doing 10 p.m. Uh, you mean 10 a.m. aviation? Uh, 10 p.m. I will be asleep. I will be asleep at 10 a.m. We'll see though, we'll see. Um, we'll see how tired I get tomorrow. Nah, no worries, aviation, no worries. No worries at all. Always happy for you guys to join me on my flights here. It's a bit quieter now in Toronto. Uh, still pretty bad, 19 departures, 14 arrivals into Toronto. So not as bad as it was. Very good to... Uh, can you do flight flying around the islands in Hawaii? Yeah, we could do, uh, we can do, uh, we can do that sometime for sure in Hawaii. Uh, where are you flying over right now? Let's take a look at the map. We'll see where we are flying right now. I think we're flying over, like, Kitchener. I think we're, we'll fly the YQB too, because I see it in your name. Um, where are we flying right now? We are right over Hamilton, actually. Sorry. We, yeah, we're right over Hamilton, actually. Uh, so we're right over Hamilton. You'll see our flight route is right here. We're going direct to Durant, and then we're going to turn in on the 2-6 approach. Uh, you're flying right over my Nana City. Very funny. Very cool. Uh, 
uh, one two six six five. That is correct. Uh, on nav, we'll keep that on nav, uh, and I think it's one one zero four one five. One one zero four one five. The six one eight. Uh, the four on a Wednesday two nine zero one three. I'll take it two nine nine six. What port would you like it? We can expect one one three six. Uh, can I get the loc uh, localized located two six approach, please? Okay, Jazz six one eight. You can expect to be localized there one one three six via Alger. Proceed to back Alger. Descend eight thousand. Direct Alger descend eight thousand for Jazz six one eight. All right, guys, cool. So we are clear to go direct to Algor, which is this guy right here. So we will go there. We'll go in vertical speed mode. Uh, and we'll descend down to 8,000. Okay. Uh, and we'll turn on vertical speed mode and uh, descend down to 8,000. Okay. Awesome. We'll go up here now. Uh, well, I guess I never cut the pick. Okay, I never turned off that, but we'll just pretend that I turned that on, guys. What plan are you find The ATR. Uh, passage, we have started our descending. We'll be landing, so thanks for flying Air Canada. We can put the message actually out for sure. What plan are you flying in? The ATR 72. I need a prop, turbo prop to fly into the city. Uh, and unfortunately, this is the only, uh, this is the only uh, turbo prop that exists in Mark's on flight simulator. So that's why we're using this guy right here. Anyways, you can see we're descending. Hey, there, 165. That wasn't for me, right? That wasn't for me. Can you fly EasyJet in Asia? I can, but why... Uniform, but, why would, but why would I... Why, but why would I fly EasyJet in Asia now? That would ruin the realism, no? Or do you speed? Yeah, we'll do speed. Uh... Ooh. Okay. No one reminded me that I was turning off course. If you want six eight six four seven five. Okay. Go direct to Jazz six one eight, turn left direct to Algor on course. Yep, so we're going direct to Algor for Jazz six one eight. Hello. Previous traffic reported. Jazz six one eight, descend five thousand. Previous aircraft reported icing at six thousand. That was about ten minutes ago. Roger, okay, we'll send down to five thousand and we'll be on the buffer icing for Jazz six one eight. Hello, scan Navy 950, with you passing 2500. Scan Navy 950, uh, uh, just to food for future, all departures out of Toronto is one way heading up to 5000 until advised by ATC, but continue to like BCT on course, climb flight level 330. Uh, Sorry about that, continue on course uh, 230 for scan Navy 950. Why didn't none of you guys tell me that, uh, that uh, I wasn't flying the <laughs> to Al Gore. Fly, fly to Bamford Airport. Guys, why didn't, why didn't none of you guys tell me that we weren't flying all, all uh, course? Something, something too, leaving my airspace now. You can monitor the unit comp for your descent 122.8. You it's do have auto tunnel line, however. Did one speed in the Boston Point Towers and there was a final plane? Oh, good times, yeah. I believe it. Okay, can I one sixty two hundred identify the level three three zero welcome? Okay, so it's gonna be Al Gore. Hey, can I fifty fifty leave my airspace to the west? I don't know why. Please consider uh, Minneapolis and South by change over to fifty one two two decimal eight. Yep. Two decimal eight. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna. Now that's fixed. There we go. Now that makes way more sense. Okay. And we will be even smaller. One descent faster here. Okay. Uh, what airports are in the sim in Nova Scotia? Uh, Hunter. Uh, Hunter. Microsoft Flight Simulator has every airport in the world. Right? Uh, it just. If, uh, are you asking about scenery or are you asking about airports? 
because uh, again, every airport exists in the simulator, um, but there's different third party scenery that makes the scenery look nicer. If that makes any sense. Yeah, sunset landing. Remember from high school. Uh, Phil. Sure, we'll go with that. I'm sure I meet a lot of Phil's from high school. That was like 15 years ago. More than 15 years ago. Um, this is Lake Ontario right here. Oh, from Bethune. Oh, that's you're, that's ancient, man. That's like that's like 16 years ago. Um, anyways, the airport's right here. You just can't see because there's clouds right now. ATR, that is correct. I need the turboprop to fly into city airport, and this is the only turboprop we have. Can you fly Korean Airways? We're not gonna fly Korean Airways tomorrow. No. Uh, we're probably gonna fly China Eastern tomorrow. Yeah, my goal is to fly China Eastern or Hainan Airlines tomorrow. Alright, we're at 10,000 feet, uh, so we could probably put seatbelts on. We could probably put a land, uh, descent message here. Okay, I'm watching anything with that. It's like 2 20 a.m. Uh, who's the mod by? Microsoft Flight Sim. Uh, I think a Sobo. You can buy. You can buy this directly from a Sobo. I think a Sobo will be the ATR. Are they in their flight today? Maybe. We'll see how the landing goes. Uh, fly Russian Airways. I don't think I will. It's just it's not realistic, right? When we fly in Russia, we'll fly Russian Airlines. Airways or something. Once again, it is a gentleman on this. Toronto Center, Air Canada 13. I'm going to tune into the check. localizer here before I forget because I'm going to. Yeah, 1327, we did barely five. Roger, Toronto Center, Air Canada 1327. Uh, 36.6 miles from Woozy on the uh, Ling uh, 6. Because you guys can see. Or correction on the Ling 3. Runway's right here. Runway's this blue line right here, so we just. Okay, so D27 Heavy Toronto Center, hello, squad guidance. How are you doing 13, today? 27. It's great. Finds Toronto Trenton Airport in Nova Scotia, you'll go over my house. Very cool, Hunter. Very cool, we'll have to do that sometime. I, I'll find that the, I'll fly into into Trenton one time. You guys have been asking me to do that, but again, it's a military base, and I don't usually fly. Okay, so team thirty-seven recy recycle transponder code B seven seven two. I don't usually fly um, military planes, so that's my B seven seven two thirteen twenty seven. Nice sunset here. You can see Toronto's right there. Fly up Esto Est Estonia one day. Yeah, we can do that. I love an yeah, we can do that. Uh, so fly off Tallinn, Estonia one day. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, 1327 heavy. Identify level 340. We're ready to send flight level 240. 240, 1327 heavy. Hold on, guys. I'm expecting a left hand turn here in a second. Hey. I'm gonna turn it to takeoff power uh, before I forget here. Because I will forget. I'm gonna turn it to takeoff power just before I forget. The ATR, uh, I'm getting my butter ready. Yeah, we'll see, man. We'll see. <laughs> I'm looking at my charts here. Um, it's a localizer approach, so let me just see how we're going to fly this. At the pre, we should be at 2,000 feet, and then we should hold it at 1,500 feet to Rabix. So that's how we're going to do this approach here. So we're going direct to Algo right now. Ayo, thanks for the follow. Uh, thank you, welcome aboard. Uh, when do you actually start turning the steering instead of giving it to the coordinates? Uh, at 1,000 feet, Nick. So, um, flying the plane means knowing how to press buttons, right? Because uh, commercial jets are meant to fly on autopilot. So generally, you put the autopilot on at 1,500 feet when you take off, and then you turn off the autopilot at 1,000 feet. So about 99% of the flight, you will have autopilot on. Uh, Angus, thanks for the follow. Um, Michelle, thanks for the follow. And GD, thanks for the follow. Really, really appreciate it, guys. We're making our approach into Toronto City Airport right now. Yeah. So you can see, you can see, you can see the city right here in the distance. You can see the city tower right there, right, guys? 
Uh, that's the same. That's the same tower right there. Uh, so we're just turning in right now. Jack six one eight, send two thousand. Send two thousand for Jack six eighteen. Extra, extra, you know from different three. And it's not a 3,000 extra shit from. Okay, uh, we'll turn that on. We're down to there. Uh, we could probably put a landing gear down here and stuff. Yeah, exactly, so... Landing gear down here and stuff. Yeah, exactly, so... Okay, the neighbor 950 requesting 5 minutes out of Yeah, so, like I said, it's mainly... Canary 950 approved, reporting back. It's mainly all of the commercial jets, which I think is fun to do. What was unsuspect? Yeah, uh, yes, Mick. So you're you're paying pilots. Uh, you're paying pilots for in case something goes wrong. Okay. So your point, yeah, if something went wrong with the plane, which it has in the past, when we flew to Halifax the other day, my autopilot wasn't working, so we had to hand fly the plane in. Uh, my autopilot also busted on the way to Orlando, so I had to hand fly that in. So again. Pilots are trained to deal with emergencies, so we know. So I know what every I know what every button up here does, right? I know what every button down here does, right? So if something breaks, I want to know what broke uh, and how to fix it accordingly. But yes, to your point, if I have to hand fly the plane, I have to hand fly the plane. Uh, but pilots, for standard operating procedures, you really shouldn't be hand flying the plane. These planes are meant to be flown on autopilot, right? I'm not saying you can't fly them by hand. Uh, they're just they're not meant to be. Um, is my supply some really nice game? Yeah, I think it's a nice game. Alrighty. Uh, should we put the gear down, guys? Put the gear down. Uh, should we put the gear down, guys? Ooh, I'm not so good. Okay, I got a 15-15. Do the pilots hand fly the plane just to be busy and do something, or is it against the code? Um, Yes and no. So planes can, every commercial jet can auto land themselves um, in pretty much every big airport. Uh, so pilots can fly for planes our just to show off their skill. Um, but again, above like s above ten thousand feet, you would never hand fly a commercial jet because they're not meant to be handled at high altitudes. Um, and there's no reason to. Fly Negative four four five. So I'm gonna identify. How much is set up? My computer costs about two thousand dollars, and I've got three thousand. Three thousand. Climb level two eight zero. Negative four four five. Turn right direct to Q on course. So yeah. Um. Yeah. So to answer your question uh, again, they're not meant to be hand flown. You you can hand fly uh, departures up to ten thousand feet. Um, you would never hand fly an arrival at like more than 3,000 feet, to be honest with you. Maybe at 5,000 feet, you could probably hand fly an approach at 5,000 feet, but generally, if you really wanted to hand fly an approach, like a visual approach, you would hand fly it at, um, you would hand fly it at, uh, 3,000 feet if you really wanted to, but again, I'm gonna disconnect the fly at like 500 feet, which is more standard. You guys can see the, you guys can see Toronto City right here. Uh, you see the city airports right there. We're gonna purchase the same setup. Um, you can buy it on Microsoft Store or you can buy it on uh, Steam. Up to you either way. Put the gear down here. Okay. Gear's going down. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know there's a moment. Flaps to 15. I th think I can turn this on here. Yeah, but there's no, no point in doing that. I don't think there's much of a point to do that, so we'll just leave it there. Where are we right now? At Rabix, we should be at, yeah, 1500 feet. Okay, so we'll just set down to 15. Hundred and we'll okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just telling me. Cool. I'm gonna hand fly this in visually, but you guys can see the you 
can see the airport's like right there. Yeah, you can see the airports, this guy right here, and you can see the cities right over there. Are you a pilot? No, I'm not. I'm not a real pilot, sorry. We're just uh, flying this right now. God, is this game gonna follow this? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tune into this and see what happens here. Okay, Locus captured. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you change the view of the plane? I can. That is one eight. Uh, the Toronto winds uh, two six zero at eleven. So that land one eight two six. Good to land runway two six for Jack six one eight. How much is it for a pilot's license? A private pilot's license. It's a uniform. Turn right heading one five zero. A private pilot's license is about. Um, is about uh, thirteen thousand dollars, and to be a commercial pilot, it's about a hundred thousand dollars. Actually, see a uniform. Turn right, heading one five zero. All right, one five zero. Access you. Close scan, Navy nine five zero. With you. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I'm going too fast. Relax. I heard you the first two times. Chill. Right. Laps full. We're going to city airport. This field's way too low. No, we're right on profile. We're right on profile. You can see you can see the same tower right here. 15k on average, not 13. Okay, I guess the price went up. God, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard the warning. Relax. I heard the warning, man. Chill. All right, let's look at our landing checklist. Gears down. Flaps are full. Uh, landing lights are on. Seatbelt signs are on. You guys have been advised. Captain has been advised. So we are ready to. Do Come on, guys. So enjoy the night in here. Approaching minimum. Yeah, yeah. So I have to replay here too. All right. My plan. Minimum. minimum. Landing. Guys, you can see the you can see the Roger Center right there. So look. Where's the scene? Okay, I'm not gonna do that. That's dangerous. Okay, let me actually hand fly this. Let's take a look at the scenery when we land, guys. It's a short runway, as you guys can see here. 200. 200 checked. Pull back the throttle a bit here. Keep the center. 100. 100 checked. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Let's go. We'll take that. Ooh. Is that where you take it? Yeah. That is correct. See on final very cool man. Guys, welcome to Toronto City Airport. Welcome, welcome. Alright, let's turn left here. Or turn right, sorry. Hey, so it's your uniform turn right turning to one zero to the sub clear the Alice Four Two Three. Let's go runway, yeah. It's a short runway as you guys can see. Alright, uh, uh two one zero clear the Alice Four Two Three. Where are we? Vacate on. Where vacate on what is that? Bravo? Center, Cessna 1727, go 58. They can, uh, 1327, descend 8000. So you guys can see, uh... They can, uh, 1327, descend 8000. 8000, 1327. Okay. Wrong airline. Uh, we can fly, uh... We can find Porter. Jazz 618, we are vacated um, off 26 on Bravo. Jazz 618, uh, welcome to City Taxi for your discussion. Hey, for your discussion, uh, thanks for the service tonight. Have a good rest of the evening for Jazz 618. Hey, you know from Contact Tower 1 8 7 7 yeah. After the can we see all your clients? Uh, sure. Cyrus on Tower, extra share from. Uh, guys, this is uh, look at that scenery right there. That's the same tower right there. Uh, let's taxi to the apron and then we'll take a look at the scenery here. Uh, I'll start. Oh, whoops. Uh, well, I'll use our turn off. I'll turn off my strobe lights. Uh, whoops. 
Nine go five big rush. Okay. Flaps can go up to four. Flaps can go nine go five eight. Flaps can go eight from request and flaps E to the active four seconds. That's a real people. Yeah, that's a real person. From where the hangar one shrimp. Oh, the hangar one. We'll take a look at the scenery. Uh, once we get to city, but uh, we made it, guys. A pretty good landing, all things considered. We'll, t we'll watch the video. Okay, number 5 8, the Toronto Center, hello. What would you like to go? Say again, number 5 8. Number 5 8, what would you like to find you? I'm looking for a temple. Are you looking for VFR or IFR? VFR, I'm just doing circuits. Number 5 8. Uh, let's take gate. Okay, number 5 8, are you looking for circuits that offer? I give 9 over 10? I don't know, yeah, I'm giving it a 7 over 10. Do you know of Island Air? I do not, unfortunately. Uh, let's turn here, guys. Uh, Alright, let's turn here. Fly again? Uh, we'll see what the replay looks like. My rudder, pe my rudder pedals are way too sensitive. For the uh, for the ATR, actually, all my sensitivities are pretty sensitive for the ATR. Not gonna lie. We're gonna take gate four. Uh, Toronto Center Air Canada thirteen twenty seven. I'm gonna continue straight ahead until I hit uh, five thousand. Yeah, okay, thirteen twenty seven. Yeah, continue now. Back to you for final. Okay. Let's make sure we're parked. Okay, cool. Cool guys. All right, all right. Welcome, welcome guys to uh, to City Airport. Let me turn that off. Cool. Uh, oh, whoops, what did I do there? Uh, we'll turn on ground power. And uh, then go 5 8 uh, 1005, good for your uh, circuit. Can you see that again? Then go 5 8. We can, uh, we can turn on our wheel chocks, we can open the service door, we can turn that on, we can open the main door so you guys can get out too as well. Cool. Alright, so we'll deboard the plane guys. Um, welcome to City Airport. Uh, if you guys want to see what the scenery looks like in downtown Toronto, we'll take a look here. This is like Ontario, uh, you can see right here. Nine five eight is ready for taxi. Scene tower is right here, so I'm just gonna move over so we can take a look. There's the one. Nine five eight, one two zero, auto better. Uh, I don't know where Scotia Bank six. Arena. I can never seem to find. Taxi I'm eight four eight zero by. Uh, very cool, Malcolm. Very cool. Charlie, uh, you can Bravo, come judge my line. You can judge my line. Zero five. I can never figure out where. Uh, I can never figure uh, out where Scotia Bank Arena is. I feel like it's zero, right across five, from the Rogers Center, if I recall correctly. It should be right across, but I'm not sure where it is. Uh, it's not that way. I don't think it's that way. Yeah, I don't. I can never seem to find Scotia Bank Arena. Here, make a right. It's a right. Or is it a left? Yeah, I can. I can never seem to find Scotia Bank Arena in the scenery here. I thought it was like right across. Anyways, um, anyways, there's the downtown Toronto scenery is pretty accurate. You can see the BMO towers right there, TD towers right there, uh, scene towers right in front of us, Roger Center is right here. I wonder if I can go inside the Roger Center. There's no way. There's no way it'll let me go inside. Yeah, it's not gonna let me inside. There's nothing in here. Cool. All right, guys. Uh, shall we watch the replay then? Let's watch. The, let's watch our replay here. Um, yeah, can I have a team twenty-seven so turn? Or very heading one four zero. One four zero thirteen twenty-seven. So we'll disconnect from that sim here, uh, and let's watch this replay, guys. I'll turn back the time here as well. So we'll turn back the time so we can see what the landing looked like. So we'll maybe turn it there. We'll play. Still sink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. My stick is always so um so sensitive. On the ATR, it's crazy how sensitive my yoke is. Anyways, watch the landing, guys. So, you 
guys can see right there. Or just see you, right? As we fly. Watch me this. Watch me this. That thing is. Doors open? Yeah, it's because of the replay. It's because of the replay. What do you rate that 19, guys? What's that? What do you guys rate that 19 out of 10? Watch it again. Smooth? Watch it, let's watch it again. Um. The door is open because when it re when it when it replays it replays at the gate. Yeah, the, the door yeah the, the door is open because again we open the door at the gate, guys. And at the gate, uh, when I do the replay tool, it keeps it in the state that it was loaded in. So again, we were loaded with the door open, so that's why. Noise will bounce. Yeah. Uh, we can walk. I don't know if I have any other angles to watch it from, unfortunately. Um, Guess we can watch it. Maybe what we can do here, let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna go to track one. We'll pull back track one here. Pull from here. Pull from here. We'll start recording. Look at this side. Bouncy, I'll give it 6.1. Yeah, I did bounce though. I did, I did bounce because I wasn't sure if I was on the ground yet. Not gonna lie, I was not sure if I was on the ground yet, guys. We'll watch this thing in here. Or just arrival in the city of Kobe. I ba I bounced it because I wasn't sure I was on the ground. That's what happened there. Alright guys, well welcome to Toronto, uh, welcome to Toronto, uh, city airport. I'm gonna shut the door because you guys are gonna keep yelling at me about the doors. Okay, guys, okay, okay. Yeah. What? So, so there you go, there's the Toronto skyline right there. A little float, yeah. I don't think it was a float, it was the bounce. It was the bounce because I wasn't sure I was on the ground. That's the thing, so I pulled it back up a bit because I wasn't, I really wasn't sure if I landed it. I don't think it was a, a float, I think I was grounded. I think I was grounded the runway threshold. Cool! Alright, guys, um, that concludes. I mean, in nose was facing down too much, but you pulled up right from the question now. Okay, thank you. Man. You have 90 nights. I'm just talking you. Can you do that one more one more time? Sure, we'll do the cockpit view one more time. Sure, we'll do the cockpit view, guys. Uh, oh, whoops. What did I do there? Oh, that's lame. Oh, okay. You have the door open? Yeah, because I'm in replay mode. We open the we open the thing at, um on the uh, we had the uh, that's so annoying. Okay. Okay, let's watch the replay again. Assuming it, assuming it even lets me. Uh, again, guys, doors open because we were part of the gate, and when I do replay mode, it keeps it at the safe state that it was at. So I had the door open when I started the replay, so the doors can stay open during the replay. That's just how that's how just how glitchy the Microsoft uh, replay tool is, unfortunately. I don't know if it's even gonna let me watch the replay to be honest, because once you turn once you turn off the engines, the replay doesn't work anymore. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, I lost the replay, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened there. Uh, let me check my settings here. Uh, and I think it's called like end flight. Uh, end flight.
Yeah, I I'll figure that out after, guys. But anyways, um, welcome to Toronto City Airport. You, fly, you, uh, you think you're ready to fly real quick? Yeah, absolutely. If there's ever an incident when I'm a passenger, I'll be able to take over for sure. Absolutely, for sure. Uh, I'll be able to do that. But anyways, guys. Um, I'm going to try to stream tomorrow morning. Bowmaster C17. Mick, my issue, my issue, Mick, is it takes me... Uh, I prefer the Q4. I prefer the Q4. Mick, my issue is that it takes me 10 to 20 hours to learn the plane. So if I'm not going to fly the plane regularly, I I wouldn't actually take the time to learn it. Or even buy the plane. So I would have to first buy the plane, then learn the plane. And if I'm not going to fly the plane often, I don't find it worth the time or money investment. That's why. Um, but anyways, guys. Um, welcome to Toronto City. I'm going to try to stream tomorrow. We'll see what goes up. Uh, but, um, close the door. Oh my god, you guys are killing me. Okay, you want me to close the door? I'll close the door. Here. There, the door's closed. Okay, I'll close the, I'll close this door too. Okay, we'll close, we'll close all the doors for you guys. There. Happy? <laughs> I'm gonna try to stream tomorrow morning at like 9 a.m. Eastern time to catch the Asian, uh, the Asian event going on tomorrow. Uh, but we'll see what happens. If not, I'm going to be recording the video anyways. Uh, so if I don't stream tomorrow, guys. You'll see the uh, you'll see the the video on TikTok anyways. So um, hope you guys enjoyed the stream today. Thank you guys for everyone that supported uh, the stream. If you guys want to see more, follow me on my TikTok. Follow me on my YouTube. Um, and uh, the streaming schedule tomorrow will probably stream one way or another. Either we'll stream in Asia or we'll stream in Europe. Uh, and then I'm thinking Sunday we'll stream in Europe um, either way. And then I think on Monday we might do Charlottetown, um, Halifax. But we'll see how the time goes. But yeah, I'll, no guarantees on 9 a.m. I will try for 9 a.m., guys. No guarantees. But uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we'll see you very soon. Cheers.